The following podcast has been rated listener MA. It contains strong language, violence, adult situations, nudity. Listener discretion is advised. Uh, would you rather give up cheese or blowjobs for the rest of your life? <laughs> blowjobs all day. I, I'm the same. I'm fucking Yeah, same. they hurt my jaw. Blank. Rejected name for condoms. Gosh, I don't know. Cock koozies, jizz mittens, ham holsters, kidnappers. Yeah, try it now! <laughs> <laughs> try it, try it now! What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. I am your host. My name is Scotty German, a.k.a. Scooter McFuckstick, st- fuckstick. and alongside me, I have two excellent stand-up comedians. First, uh, the people who tolerate him um, on a daily basis are the real heroes. Uh, please welcome Mr. Steve Peters. I knew he was talking about me. Yep. That's awesome. Thank you, guys. I appreciate yeah, you're it. You're welcome. Welcome back, man. I hope I can get you some more listeners so we can enhance the pin budget. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, he gets the $12 pins, and we get the ones that some <laughs> yeah. kid chewed the end off of. Exactly. Absolutely. And, and stuffed it in his butt. Speaking yep. of which, if period cramps were a person, Mr. Derek Alders. <laughs> Thanks, Squatty. It's good to see you. You're welcome. Happy to have you here. Tip shit. I'm, I'm fucking so excited to be here. I'm glad you are. It's about yeah, time. Yeah, I, I am fucking pumped up. Yeah, I know. Anyways. I'm amped, Steve. Yeah. I'm more excited than you, and I have Jameson. Nice. <laughs> so. That works out. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> this is the very first time you've ever listened to a Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. This is a you comedy podcast. bullets, do you? Did you bring bullets? <laughs> yeah, they're in my truck. They're in a gun. For the love of God. <laughs> oh, my God. I will this was stop. my last show. <laughs> I, I want to make an announcement right now. <laughs> Thank fucking God. Jesus Christ. I'm going to do it all over the fuck in your front room. That's fine. That Just, way you can't sell your house. Do you house. want me to stop the show? I will walk you out there and, and help you load the gun. Let's do this. Jesus well, he needs Christ. a few minutes to etch his n- initials into the bullet. I can do that. Beforehand. Absolutely. <laughs> let's let's pause it. Let's go, let's go do this. Uh, no. Uh, but anyways, if this is the very first time Just you've ever listened to a Laughing on the, on the Sidelines podcast, this is a comedy podcast where we like to make inappropriate jokes about the current events that are uh, going on in sports and also uh, jokes that have nothing to do with the current events or sports whatsoever. In fact, they're all targeted towards me and Derek. Uh, and that's that. <laughs> Just say uh, we'll be right back. <laughs> yeah. And then, I think you play that. And then the no. rest of the episode <laughs> is just, just me and Scotty, and, and we never mention you being yeah. gone. You don't be, address it. Just, oh, that would be fucking hilarious. <laughs> the technical difficulty screen with the. <laughs> it'd, be a, it'd be a 10 times better show. Uh, but this oh, is. Hilarious. This is. <laughs> God, be damn so it! Many questions. Where what, did he really do it? <laughs> this is also an adult podcast. We haven't figured it out yet. Uh, where he likes to use foul language and try to offend as many people as he possibly can. So if that's not your thing, get the fuck out of here. You're in the wrong place. Bye. All right. Good God, I couldn't get try through that. Try more Jameson. Ah, uh, yeah. No, I don't want those people to be drinking. Something tells me they'll do bad things. I love it. But if they kill Derek, though, then that's fine. Uh, but anyways, uh, we've got an excellent show for you guys this week, uh, especially with Steve being here. Uh, we all miss <laughs> we all miss JP though. Poor JP. Well, yeah, I thought he'd be here. I, I miss mean, JP. That means I wouldn't be here. The <laughs> under be, table hand jobs yeah. from JP. I think nice. he doesn't. He's over the table. I don't think he gives a shit. He doesn't like, care I think anymore. You're right. You can just move the right. table completely out of the picture. Yeah, and he's yeah. fine. Yeah, yeah, I think you're right. Yeah, darn. Uh, we do have a great uh, show. We've got a pretty pretty uh, big docket, Steve. Do you know what a docket is? Yeah, I've been to court. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's I not what I've been to court. I was talking about the JP version of Docket, but whatever. Uh, we got some current events. We got overrated or underrated. That's where I draw the line. Questions and preguntas, and as always, a draft, and we kind of close things out with a shitty situation. Uh, but before we get into that stuff for this week, uh, let's talk about what happened to us over the last week. And I'm going to go ahead and shoot this over to Mr. Steve Peters. What has been uh, happening to you? Well, I am remodeling a house all the way down to the studs, and I have uh, several workers there that do not speak any English. Like you should. Uh, Yeah, so when the FEMA alarm went off on Monday or Tuesday or whatever it was, they all were very, very puzzled, and I just go, (laughs) 
oh shit, La Migra. <laughs> and there was uh, there was some confusion I for like a while. Th- I like to think I, they're all French. Yeah, <laughs> like they all much. speak French. Yeah. Oh and, no. <laughs> yeah, and they yeah. always. They always give themselves away when they want a taco on a croissant, you know? It's weird. Uh, did you turn your phone off? That almost happened, right? Isn't what? that, isn't that uh, How a taco Mexican was? independence, right? The French almost... I thought it was the Spanish-American War. Or no, Spanish-American. Yeah, yeah, that's Mexican. not enough. Now there's a Mexican-American War. And no, then, the I don't French, uh, that's Mexican Independence Day, I think, or something. Fuck, I don't know. Oh. The French did something uh, to Mexico. Dia, no, Cinco de Mayo, maybe. Dia de los oh. Baguettes. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I feel like the cartels would be way less scary. You know, I don't know. Like, baguettes can get sharp. I am going to cut off your head if you do not give me the cocaine. Like, that that's way less scary than all the fucking Mexican stuff. I don't know. That's great. <laughs> that's good. I celebrate Mexican Independence Day every day or every, uh, every chance day. I get. I drive through Spangles and get a margarita with extra shots of tequila. Very good. I feel like that's pretty. That's awesome. For anybody that doesn't know what Spangles is, that's you're you're lucky. It's, it's French for diarrhea. Yeah, yeah, that's really horrible. Very good. Uh, but did you do anything else over there, Steve? No, I I played poker yeah. and I won some thousands. That's good. That was good. And I'm extremely excited today because Connor Bedard is starting for the Chicago Blackhawks today. Yeah. It's going to be fucking awesome. He's okay. gonna, is that the hurt hand? No. Oh, yeah, but oh, I don't geez. care. That's worth a kind right. of I Sorry. I, uh, I just I'm, got a text about it, that yep, just now. It's actually starting, I think, right now. A buddy so just today is, me. today is the first day, opening day of the NHL regular season, and I am fucking stoked. Okay. And when I left my house, the uh, Tampa Bay Lightning was handling the Nashville Predators by three goals i believe wow. wow usually it's the predators doing the handling i know yeah especially when it comes <laughs> to me hey so, yeah. i know oh wow uh but uh there was a there was a question a fan um after we sent out the uh month day fun day uh there's a picture of you that um shows i don't know the better side of you i'm thinking my butthole <laughs> <laughs> I had had uh, I I got a spray tan uh, a <laughs> couple did days. What? Yeah, I got a spray tan. My wife knows this lady that owns one of those little I don't know salon things or whatever, and she convinced me to get a spray tan, but I didn't want to get naked because I don't want to show her my tiny wiener. So <laughs> I kept like a pair of very short shorts on. <laughs> Who wears short shorts? Steve <laughs> wears short shorts. <laughs> and I'm a really pasty guy. So uh, Sunday, my wife and I went out. We had a bunch of mimosas and stuff and i was pretty drunk and then i took a picture of my copper tone ass <laughs> in the, in the bathroom and in then the I just public decided, bathroom no it was my bathroom oh, okay. and then i just decided to post it on facebook because i think that's what you do yeah that's you know? true and it's uh it's 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 yeah well speaking of things that are small okay yeah tiny dick maybe but bro you have no ass no, nope, none. None. No, it slides it's, down my leg. It, it, it's fucking just yeah, yeah, fucking I, bored, uh, man. Never done a squat in my life. <laughs> and it's I did meet Burt Kreischer though, speaking of naked ass pictures. Oh, nice. So it wasn't fun. Oh, that's too bad. Yeah. You want to elaborate uh, or no? No, I mean, I feel like he and I have a lot in common. You know, we have kids about the same age. We're both mediocre comedians. We both (laughs) drink too much. Uh, And so when he came to Wichita, I hit up Chris Porter. I texted him and I was like, hey, dude, just letting you know, I got a bottle of 1942 over at the bar because my bar is a block away from the arena that they were at. Yeah. And he goes, oh, shit, you're in town. You're not in L.A. And I was like, no, I'm in Wichita. And he goes, all right, I got uh, backstage passes for you. How many do you want? (laughs) Oh, wow. like uh, just me it's just me i think and Thanks. so i went and then uh i was like this is gonna be fucking he called amazing me, i couldn't go yeah it, <laughs> i was like this is gonna be fucking amazing and then i went there and uh burt kreischer was eating like chips and hummus and i was like so when like you want let's do this fucking rage <laughs> he's like oh, i'm not drinking right now yeah he's not <laughs> he's like go fuck yourself sir <laughs> it was awkward and weird and so it was like the biggest letdown. It was like meeting Santa. It was like meeting just, Snoop and he wasn't smoking weed. Yeah. 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 It's just, it, it just wasn't, you know. Oh, well. Know. You know, you can actually Whatever. get that uh, spray tan at Spangles, $1.99. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So it's been a wild uh, week and a half, two weeks. Oh, uh, yeah. They well. call that the Cinco de Mayo. You get a margarita and a spray tan for four bucks. <laughs> <laughs> 
I love it. I'll have a number numero cinco, please. Yeah, <laughs> awesome. Uh, shit, password for ten percent off is oh, also wee wee. Chris Porter will be at Vorshay's, uh November sometime. Okay, let me see. Absolutely fine. Uh, well, while you're looking that up and you're looking at the uh, schedule for that uh, that particular bar, uh, we had a couple of requests uh, that I need your particular authorization for. Yeah, yeah, let's go. Uh, so let's do this. A lot of people want to know if there's a possibility of having another live show at Vorshay's. Hmm. I would say Chris Porter will be at Vorshay's Wednesday, November 15th. <laughs> so no. At 8 p.m. <laughs> And yes, I would love to have everyone <laughs> from this uh, Laughing on the Sidelines <laughs> podcast back to Vorshay's, and uh, it would be a great time. Let's yeah. do that. Would Let's you... everybody get drunk and have fun, and then maybe, but can we have strippers this time or something? <laughs> yep. I don't, yeah, I we don't, need yeah. something. We need some, like, better entertainment. Okay, well, you know? I mean, yeah, that, I'll leave that up to you. I can guess we get stomped kind of like the man the show? show. Like, we can have a little mini trampoline on the side of the stage with chicks in bikinis. <laughs> How did you expect that to fit? I don't know. <laughs> we'll make it happen. We should get stomped to open for it. <laughs> yes. Yeah. What about the Blue Man Group? I bet they'd do it. <laughs> wow. I think more people would want to what see What about them. the Aussie Thunder from <laughs> <laughs> Is that a band that Jeremy manages? Well, it's. I think Derek was in that group I for was. a while. I was. Uh, but they're uh, they have six packs. Yep. Wow! I brought my own. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't want to. That's where the name oil can came from, <laughs> with Fosters. So but, that's uh, yeah. Well, it's good. I'll Let's do it. Let's do it. When do you want to do this? Uh, I, I don't know. We're still kind of looking at the dates because it's February thirtieth. Absolutely Let's not do it February thirtieth. <laughs> Let's see. It's the tenth. We can do it the twelfth. <laughs> uh, everything going on. Well, we'll uh, we'll have to see. We'll have to figure out scheduling and stuff like that. Obviously, give enough people as much of a heads up as possible. It is a leap year, you know. I mean, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We'll do it February twenty. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, but anyways, uh, well, I'm glad we got that out of the way. Jesus Christ, Derek, how the fuck was your week? Uh, I looked at hot air balloons, which was pretty cool. I'm sorry. I looked at hot air balloons. To buy one? No, I'm not going <laughs> to no. buy one. I don't have Steve Peters money. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> I can't even buy a fucking animal balloon. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. I don't think that, that that hot air balloon could carry you anyway, so you're it not could. in the market. It could. I don't know. No, you um, cut the sandbags off, and then it goes up higher. Yeah. It was I cool. don't think I've never understood Derek. that because he can back down. <laughs> All right. Yeah, yeah, it was cool. I, I guess they fill them up with, like, cold air. And is then, this in Albuquerque? Did you go to this thing? No, they oh. have a shittier one in my wife's hometown <laughs> where there's like eight. But Where's I've never your wife's seen hometown? Columbus, Kansas. It's okay. in southeast Kansas. <laughs> well, that's all yeah. right. So we you drove know. there for that, and uh, it was pretty cool. Like, I've never actually, outside of just seeing one randomly in the fucking air yeah. or like yeah. it on Remax signs, yeah. like, this is the yeah. first time I've actually <laughs> saw one up close. <laughs> And I was like, they had like eight of them all in this field, and they all would go. Up. It was fucking neat. Really Did you was. do the ride in one thing where they like I take you to, up and they, go back down? They or weren't letting anybody do that. Like it that was sucks. kind of. A, they do this thing every year, like a regatta, and it's all sponsored and stuff. But huh. hey, I would like to ride in a hot air balloon. I think it'd be fun as hell. I don't uh, know, man. I don't either. Because how do you? Of course, you don't really thing. hear of any hot air balloon crashes, though. No, you know. I mean, they I just kind of like, slowly fall to the ground. But I, think, yeah. I think that Zeppelin back in like the nineteen <laughs> tens was the last and one they just had. don't fill it with helium. Yeah, yeah. I, uh, yeah. Uh, I mean, yeah. That'd be. I don't know. That'd be kind of cool. Here's the problem: you can't steer those motherfuckers. Yeah, but what if somebody wanted to be a real dick and just <laughs> shot at that thing while they were <laughs> driving by? Like all of them just. <laughs> Just started yeah. going down. <laughs> I feel like it'd be a large parachute uh, with a hole in it. Down. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Hamas was wrong. They <laughs> yeah. should have fucking attacked the hot air balloon fast in wow. Kansas. So yeah, we went and did that, and then uh, not much else really went on. Uh, I did go to Oktoberfest at Prost. Was that good? I had a great time. That's awesome. Yeah, I wanted here? to go to that. Yeah, Prost. It's uh in like it's Revolution. It's a cool spot. Yeah, it's a it's bunch a cool of like spot. shipping containers that are. Mm -hmm. It's a bar and giant mm -hmm. patio in and, Wichita. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's, okay. a, it's all German based, and uh, so like so you he walk wore in, his Nazi uniform. Uh, right. I mean, yeah. he's got to get yeah, that out of the closet. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, 
but yeah, I, I was able to still squeeze into the old thing. <laughs> 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 uh, Tommy Hill figure. Haven't right? gained an ounce since third grade. <laughs> uh, that was a weird Halloween, I'll tell you that. Not a lot of candy that trick. For being alive in the forties, you look amazing, <laughs> sir. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, shit. No, that was in nineteen eighty seven. I was mm. just uh, <laughs> trick or treating. Mm. Oh. <laughs> nice. Not a lot of tricks. Back, back before all this woke bullshit. <laughs> 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 Wow. Now you can't even dress up as an engine anymore. <laughs> fucking assholes, the weak sons of bitches, and their fucking trophies. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Oh, that's good. Shit. That's oh, awesome. Back that's... in my day, if you lost, you just took a cyanide pill and took your own life. <laughs> well, that's how well marriage worked for Hitler. <laughs> 20 minutes. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. But no, it was like, a- Jesus, Natalie, did you get reincarnated? <laughs> you fucking married to Hitler? <laughs> but no. For everyone listening, Natalie's my wife. <laughs> <laughs> the whole food's fucked. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. Oh, that's what we're doing tomorrow for our fucking anniversary. Taking it to Whole Foods. We got a fucking buffet. <laughs> yeah. All right. Sorry, Derek. Go no, ahead. You're Cont- fine. Continue. So we went. Uh, we went to the Oktoberfest. Had a couple beers there, and then went to uh, Emerson Biggins, and I had like one of their giant ass beers. So I only really had three beers, but yeah, each but one were like, were, like a gallon. Each of one beer. were like a liter. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Those so are I'm huge like, beers. Like if I get pulled over, like I can really say I've only had three. <laughs> <laughs> like I can legit say this. <laughs> And then I got home and I was like, I think I'm kind of drunk. And my wife, oh, you're drunk. I'm like, I only had three beers. She said, you had three fucking huge beers. I'm like, <laughs> they're okay. Paint, <laughs> they're paint buckets for ha- from Harbor Freight. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. If you, I love it. If you Jet's spend like $40, you get to fill <laughs> it up. There it is. Uh, Jeremy's favorite deal. I sent that to you guys. I know. I saw it. <laughs> okay. I got it. Uh, <laughs> And then this week uh, is actually our anniversary. Me and Steve, uh, we married our wives the same day and the mm-hmm. same year. Yep. Same day, same year. At the year. same place. It was weird. No. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Chuck E. Cheese. Yep. Uh, <laughs> In the ball pit. That's right. <laughs> Those are sticky. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, that is weird. I didn't know that. I, I always forget that for some reason. But yeah, we did. That so was... we're t- I'm taking my wife uh, tomorrow, and I'm really excited. We're gonna go see Max Sabbath. Fuck yeah. And that's Derek's like favorite act like band that's not like band. super popular band. Yeah. yeah. They were fucking hilarious. I saw them last <laughs> yeah, year and good. they I I was like, meh, this will be if this sucks, we can leave in like an hour. And then no, I was like, the whole time. this is fucking amazing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So this time I spent 50 bucks at tickets and I'm going to see nice. them again. They are fantastically if you, hilarious. If you don't know who Max Sabbath is, Derek, describe them, please. It is a Black Sabbath cover band. metal cover band yeah. mm-hmm. that changes all their lyrics to fa- about fast food. Uh-huh. So they and they're dressed this, like the Hamburglar and Ronald Grimace, McDonald yeah. and Grimace. Metal and, yeah. Grimace. Yeah, they have... At the, before the show starts, they have like zombie Ronald McDonald's yep. with red glowing <laughs> eyes that breathe out smoke. <laughs> it's the best thing fucking ever. It's good. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I don't even like metal. I love this. <laughs> it's good shit. Yeah. Oh, it was, it's amazing. Anyway. So we're going to do that tomorrow, and I'm super excited. I'm glad for you. Um, well, uh, my I wasn't we- done yet. Oh, okay. Sorry. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ, this guy. All right, I'm done. That's why I'm done. <laughs> Scotty doesn't have eventful weeks. No, no, I don't. I, I, I really didn't. <laughs> he this, went golfing and fingered his ass I did not. I actually, I did not go golfing. I didn't. I It was very uneventful this week, actually. I didn't do a whole hell of a lot. Um, I, I was really pumped that, like, the weather changed. Like, that was my big thing is that now we have fall weather. Did you see that on the app? Uh, no. <laughs> okay. No, I'm, I didn't. Wasn't sure. I know no, that's, that's just, one of your top apps. So I figured you were checking the weather app, like weather change, <laughs> and no, then well, fucking broke out the non-alcoholic whiskey and did, did some drug-free cocaine and partied your ass off. Fuck yeah, dude! 
Fuck you. I'm so like 31 weeks. Fuck off. You know you have a problem if you count, count it by the weeks. weeks. Exactly. Yeah. You're like, dude, I've been sober for 76 weeks. And no. it's like, dude, that's like a year and a half. The only reason why I'm doing it this way, the only reason is because my point of reference is when a good friend of ours found out she was pregnant. So her number of weeks she is pregnant is how many weeks I stopped since I stopped drinking. Is it yours? <laughs> that might be the problem. <laughs> Not that I'm aware of. <laughs> the, only, the only people that count thing in weeks are recovering alcoholics and parents. Yep. Yeah, that's 100%. Exactly right. Oh, how old's your kid? 56 weeks. <laughs> how many weeks sober has it been since Fun Scotty appeared? 31. No, Ooh. it's been longer than that. He wasn't fun <laughs> wasn't when he was fun. drunk. <laughs> no. Like, I was, I was, I guess I would get to the point where I was an asshole. So I was just like, eh, I need to, I need to chill. I need to chill out. So he asked me a couple no, weeks. No, you just change what you're drinking. You just <laughs> drink beer now rather than whiskey or yeah, whatever he uh -huh. asked me a couple weeks ago he's like i had to go pick up my wife and god damn she was drunk and fucking annoying <laughs> and he was <laughs> he like did, yeah. he goes do i get that way i was like i asked her i was like am i this way when i'm drunk and she's like yeah <laughs> and then he looks at me and he goes tell your wife i'm so sorry <laughs> <laughs> She still doesn't like him. I know she does. It's okay. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> it was bad, uh, but it. I get the fucking evil eye every time I come over here. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. She's like, you're going over to see him. I'm oh like, my! Oh. I love your wife. She's a sweetheart. She's awesome. Uh, but no. Uh, but that that we, that uh, oh, that, she loves you, Steve. Yeah. The, <laughs> Yay! But the, but the sober streak might actually come to the to an end this week. Good. It is my 36th birthday this weekend. Nice. On um, Friday, so I that's kind of what I've been no preparing for. No better time to fall off the wagon. Yeah, that's right. Uh, but no, I, I just, I don't know. I'm having a whole bunch of family, so I've kind of been like preparing for that. I, I'm really excited. I get to see my dad. Um, he, he's from Western Kansas, and he drives up uh, from time to time and gets to hang out with him. So that's that's nice. something I really cherish. Yeah, he's having a surprise party, but nobody's going to show up, and that's the surprise. <laughs> no, I already told you. I said my that's dad the reason is to drink. Yeah, they're like surprise. Nobody fucking likes you. <laughs> well, no, Derek. I'm actually seeing my dad, which you can't say the same thing for yourself. No, oh. I can't. He's anyways, dead. that was uh, very very nice of you, Scotty. Don't care. Uh, but anyways, uh, other than that, uh, I started watching Cheers, uh, which was pretty awesome. Um, how old of a show that is. And yeah, they still use like um, like bar phones and shit in, in Cheers. But it was the 80s, right? Early yeah. 80s? Early late 80s. 90s, 80s, or yeah. Early 90s, late 80s, yeah. yeah. So, but it, it it's a Kirstie fan. Alley. It's uh -huh. a fantastic show. Yeah. It, I mean, it's really underrated. Yeah. I really enjoy it, and I'm I actually agree. shocked. Um, and so that, uh, that's that. We also got a couple of uh, messages from a, a lot of listening fans. Um, uh, Justin uh, Seamson uh, is a building inspector, and he uh, was very nice, and he sent us a message uh, about him inspecting a building, getting into an elevator, and he said he wasn't as uh, near as safe as – or he, he felt so safe in an elevator because it was an Otis elevator. He's brand loyal. I thought that was pretty awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. And then uh, – so we had Month Day Fun, fun Day – uh, I did that for Derek because, you know, he loves munting. Wait, okay, so there's there's nothing else to the Justin Seamson building inspector getting in an elevator? No, he's, 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 he's brand loyal. He loves Otis. You don't know that joke, Steve. Nope. No. Yeah, you don't listen to the podcast. You're smart. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> damn it. All right. I don't listen to it either. I was just there. Well, that day. Was there I mean, that as day. soon yeah. as you guys get Tim <laughs> Dillon and Joe Rogan on here, I'll start listening. There no. you go. I oh. didn't. I didn't. Oh, I'm what sorry. What about Joe Dillon like, and Tim Rogan? Because we've got those it. guys. I think yeah. those guys are a little bit easier yeah, access. They're amazing. Yeah. Um, no, That's my insurance agent. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, Anyway, uh, so I, I we did Month Day Fun Day and um, like a good neighbor, State Farm is months. <laughs> no, I was talking about my insurance agent. Oh, uh, but we whatever had, happened to the original Jake from State Farm? I don't. I think he died. I don't think so. No. Oh, okay. I think that woke <laughs> bullshit took <laughs> over. <laughs> Maybe. I love how there was never even an announcement. It's like, hey, we have a black guy now. <laughs> <laughs> hey, still his name's Jake. 20 yeah. bucks says his name's really not. What are you Jake. wearing, Jake from State Farm? <laughs> uh, khakis. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but anyways, I'm starting to get, uh, we, well, for Monday Fun Day, we, we had quite a few like suggestions that we've already done. So I started, at least on Facebook, because I, I can do that. I started leaving care emojis on people, like giving them a hug because they haven't listened to all the episodes because we've done that or referred to the suggestions. So I started doing that. At least on Facebook. I don't have a way to tell the people on Instagram and Twitter. 
Uh, but I still like it. It's still a lot of fun. It gives people the opportunity to suggest uh, anything for the show. And so, yeah, do it there. If you're still sending us messages, I've pretty much stopped li- looking at them now on, uh, unless there are other stuff. So, yeah, there's that. Uh, I was going to say I did make a couple of purchases. Oh, you okay. What would you do? Uh, well, my Whoa. fire stick sucks ass. Yeah. I hate the fucking fire stick. I okay. hate, it's always... F- so I, I bought a Roku, and I didn't realize it came with like fucking 300 channels. Dude, I love them. It's They're incredible. Fucking great. Really? Yeah, yeah, I get and I get like I get Comedy Central for free. Yeah. I get like all the sports networks, so I get MLB, I get NHL, I get the Taylor Swift channel, which is the NFL network. I get all that <laughs> stuff. <laughs> so I was I was pumped about that. Do you get Red Zone? I do not. Okay. Dude, I don't watch the NFL. Bill though. Burr did a series exclusively on Roku and it is it's a sketch comedy series. Holy I'm gonna shit. have to find it. Oh, dude, it's it, you'll you'll binge it. Like Great. if you start it tonight, you'll watch the whole thing. It's so fucking dark and hilarious. Great, it's amazing. So I bought that, and then today, this week is Prime Days. Oh yeah. yeah, and uh, I talked about it on the show, and I found it for nine dollars, so I had to buy it. So guys, get ready for the official review of Goat Simulator Three <laughs> for PlayStation Five. What the fuck? <laughs> it was. It was nine dollars and ninety nine cents, and my wife is like, "I'm like, I don't have a lot of fuck you money, but I can fuck you ten dollars." <laughs> so I have Goat Simulator Three Immoral Compass. Sweet, I'm gonna check that out. You have to check it out. Nine dollars for Goat Simulator Three. Yeah, it was what? it was sixty seven percent off. What is that? <laughs> like, it what do they do? It is a PlayStation Five game where you're a goat. <laughs> That sounds amazing. I eat everything inside anyway. <laughs> so, well, you can fly and shit. Yeah. I don't know. Goats don't fly. Well, in Goat Simulator 3, they do. <laughs> it's all the amazingness of Goat Simulator 2 with wings. <laughs> yeah, Goat Simulator 1 was pretty fucking weak. <laughs> <laughs> so... I uh, I have this. It should be <laughs> it here. Was like about mountain goats, and everybody knows mountain goats are fucking dick. Steve, they made three of them. <laughs> they made three of these things. So Goat Simulator One apparently was pretty kick ass too. <laughs> Dude, I wish I could be a goat in like I don't know, like a first person shooting game. <laughs> That'd be awesome. Yeah, I don't know. I haven't got to play it yet. You might get to be. Yeah, yeah. yeah that would be so know. great. Oh, you Jesus be a Christ. Just goat and Grand <laughs> Theft Auto. <laughs> just a like goat just beating up hookers and taking their money from them. That'd be awesome. Shoving your horn in their giner. <laughs> exactly. Goat Theft Auto. Is that what you're yep. thinking? Yep. Uh-huh. I love it. Love it. All right. Well, that is our week, week recap for this week. Now we get to move on to some current events that happened. Obviously, uh, most, mostly sports related. Mm. Uh, first things first. I don't know why I wrote this down, other than the fact this is fucking amazing. There was a runner who set the new world record for the men's marathon. He ran one marathon in two hours and thirty five seconds. If you do the fucking math, there, Steve. He ran four minutes and fifty nine seconds per mile for twenty six point two miles 12 miles an hour i could beat it holy fuck no dog no no uh that's that's i'll give you impressive i'll give you a guess which country he's from but but i mean i was gonna go with france yeah, <laughs> he's my best American. <laughs> isn't isn't Usain Bolt still the fastest man on planet Earth? I don't know if he still is, is but over? he was. Uh, I mean, he's got the fastest time. I'm pretty sure. I don't know. Yeah. He's definitely he's, the fastest. He's more of a sprinter, right? Yeah, he's, he's more he's of a, a sprinter. Sprint. He's yeah. a sprinter. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I thought that was fucking ridiculous. Uh, but in college football, oh, just for the record, I still I do love the new Jake from State Farm. He's okay, very yeah, helpful. I do too. He's, he's a very sweet man. He's nice. He was actually hanging out with I think Donna Kelsey at the, one of the games. Mm-hmm. He's trying to work up there to that hell Taylor yeah Swift status. Got himself a little handful of the Kelsey badge. <laughs> oh my god! I like it. Oh, grabbed a handful, huh? Mm-hmm. Anyways. Uh, so college football, um, I guess I wanted to talk about this because I thought this was fucking hilarious. Did you see the the uniforms for the Iowa State um, Cyclones no. over the weekend? No. Uh, they, I guess they play one game a year to where the, um, the pants that they wear are at like, I mean, they're like skin colored. So they're like white. I'm white looking gu- them up right now. White guys look like they're wearing tight pants, but they almost mm. look naked. 
They're pretty bad. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> They're not good. They're definitely not good. Whoever thought that was like these uniforms are gonna be fucking awesome, exactly. dude. Exactly. That's that's kind of my point. Do you think yeah. anybody put these things on? And some of the guys had like white t shirts that were leaking out from under their jerseys, so it made it With even worse. Winnie the Pooh. It looked like fucking skirts for dudes. It was terrible. That's great. The JP fucking watched the shit out of that game though. For sure. Uh, but yeah, guy, come on, stop with this shit. Start paying attention. Mm-hmm. Um, Oklahoma ends up upsetting uh, Texas at the that Red was pretty River wild. rivalry. That was probably one of the best football games I've watched in a fucking long that time. That was pretty good. First quarter had like a blocked punt, two interceptions, and two touchdowns all in this, all rolled into one quarter. It was fucking amazing. Yeah. And I guess... That last touchdown didn't even look like it was meant to be there either. No. It looked like he was getting sacked and just kind of like threw, threw it in the it air at, yeah. and then it was caught. Yeah, it was wild. Dude came out of nowhere. Yeah. And, and I guess me, my family's from Oklahoma, like from that the Mormon area. surprises no one. I know. But <laughs> that's like the only game I really try to watch every year so I can talk shit on all kinds of Texas fans. So I guess I really enjoyed it. It was a lot of fun that's to awesome. watch. Yeah, it was great. Wow. Uh, but more than anything, there was one college football game that was probably the craziest thing I've ever seen, and that was the Miami Hurricanes and the Georgia Tech uh, Golden Yellow Jackets. Or Golden Jackets? Where the fuck Golden they are? Showers. Yeah, what? Golden Showers. Um oh. At one point, Miami Miami had the, well they had the ball with like forty some seconds left, mm-hmm. and Georgia Tech had zero timeouts left, mm-hmm. and all they had to do was take a knee. That's it, and then run out the clock. Yeah. Well, they decided sometimes nobody wants to be a bitch and they're going to play. Well, so because they bet the spread and they need to beat it. <laughs> <laughs> so the head coach decided to go ahead and run the football. Well, yeah. they, they did, and they fumbled the ball, and oh. Georgia Tech recovered. So they then drove down the field and scored a touchdown to win the game in forty-five in like forty seconds or whatever it was. And that is apparently one of it's being called the worst coaching fails of all time. I think if you ask Derek about this, they're just preparing for the script of the NFL. Is that what they're doing? That's exactly quite what's happening. Oh my yeah, quite possible. Yeah, because that shit doesn't happen. Maybe, maybe not. So maybe it came down from Vegas. You run the ball here. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Jesus yeah, there's Christ. some weird lizard overlord in Vegas that bets all the time, and he just has a direct line. To every game, and it's like I need you to fucking fumble, (laughs) and then it happens because they're scared. There's billions and billions of dollars in the NFL and shit. They're not going to leave that to chance. Oh my Mm. god. Anyways, moving on to the NFL. Um, Even though the Pittsburgh Steelers beat Baltimore (coughs) in Pittsburgh, Mm -hmm. um, Matt Canada may be the most hated person in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Did you hear about this? No. He is the offensive coordinator for the Pittsburgh Steelers. Every single Steelers fan hates his guts. And there's nice. actual video evidence uh, of this last week. They ended up coming back and winning the game in, in pretty crazy fashion, too. But it was a ridiculous pass um, that in, uh, caught touchdown. It was like a 40-yard touchdown uh, to mm-hmm. basically take the lead. And there's a video footage of the offensive coordinator during this play. Mm-hmm. And he looks just like stone. He's not excited at all. Like, not at all. <clears throat> and you can see the everybody in the background is going fucking ape shit. And everybody's claiming that... He bet the other way. Not that he bet oh. the other way. Like, that he... They ran a play that he didn't call, and it made him look bad. That's what it looks like. Because oh, as an offensive coordinator, he got he's... His ego stomp. He on. got his ego stomp, and I he has been see. sucking all season long. And the, nice. fans, the fans are chanting Fire Canada at every single game. <laughs> I, when you're so like bad... That's a pretty good slogan for many things. I know. <laughs> <laughs> like, they're not that's talking great. about the country, though. Yeah, they're talking about all the dude. It. So I, it's just uh, I don't know. Even though they get the win, I don't see the Steelers having a winning season this year. But that's just me. Uh, you never know. Yeah, you never know. Uh, Steelers are not my bag. No, so they're not no my idea. thing either. I made a whole bunch of the Steelers fans really pissed off on Instagram, apparently. But uh, the the San Francisco Forty Nine ers uh, ended up they're beating beat Dallas. You with their- Dirty towels. Who? Or what are the Steelers? Oh, fans? the Steelers fans? Yeah, yeah, the terrible towels. Yeah, the terrible towels. Oh, I my God. Dirty towels. I think I'll live. I uh, but crunch, no. They're crunchy towels. <laughs> <laughs> 
Maybe. That fucking scratch me with a towel. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> Is that uh, sandpaper? Yeah. No, nah, it's semen. <laughs> the fucking 49ers end up kicking the absolute shit out of the Dallas Cowboys on Sunday night. They did. It's great. Yeah. They, it's uh, so great. That spread was three. <laughs> I was like, hey, I don't think this is going to work. No. And isn't it a, that's kind of a, I don't think Dallas ever wins in San Francisco, do they? I mean, like very rarely. Eh, maybe. Uh, the whole thing is, is this year, I don't, everybody was thinking that Dallas, Dallas was going to be one of the best teams in the NFL. My wife is convinced they're going to the Super Bowl. And she is also a delusional Dallas Cowboys fan. That is not going to happen. They might be going to the Super Bowl to nope. watch. Yeah. Yeah. They may be, but not, not, uh, not Cowboys are playing in the Super Bowl for for right, sure, absolutely right, not. Right. But the best part was was uh, George Kittle, uh, their tight end for the San Francisco 49ers, actually mm-hmm. had a shirt under his jersey that said, yeah, fuck yeah, Dallas. So, yeah. That's class, man. That's, <sighs> that's good, baby. Yeah, I love it. About that. Oh, love him for it. Absolutely. Fuck the Cowboys. They suck. <laughs> yeah. And then we get to move on to the, to the game that everybody really paid attention to. Fuck um, yeah. Uh, the Minneapolis, Minnesota Vikings. Minnesota. Yeah. In the great white north. That's right. Uh, everybody was expecting Taylor Swift to be there because they were playing the Kansas City Chiefs. I hope they broke up already. I really do, too. I'm fucking tired of this shit. I just, I'm. Whenever yeah. it's becoming an announcement on every single thing, it's like whenever so they break to a commercial, annoying. come back, it's like, just so everybody knows, Taylor Swift is not here at the game today. I wanted to throw something at my goddamn TV. Dude, the other day, the the other day fuck. when fucking Ryan Reynolds was there, I was like, Fuck Taylor Swift, dude. Ryan Reynolds yeah. is there. That's Hugh amazing. Jackman is right next yeah, to him. Yeah. Jesus was, Christ. Yeah, I don't. It, it's weird, dude. I know. I'm so sick and tired of it. But it's kind of like when the WWE had Muhammad Ali. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it reminds me of that. Oh, sure. Um, <laughs> <laughs> they did. Yeah. They Pretty did. soon Taylor right, Swift's going to be on the sideline. She's like, put me in. <laughs> oh, my God. It's Taylor Swift coming down with a chair. She's going to wear his jersey, yeah. too, oh, like all big happen. and baggy. I will be so happy if that happens because she will get truck sticked into a different dimension. Oh, it'd be great. Oh, it'd, it'd be tr- fucking awesome. I'd truck awesome. stick the shit out of her. <laughs> I'm Jeez. sure you would. Mm-hmm. Yep, I would, She'd too. get this truck stick. I don't even know what that means, but I'd do it. Yeah, I don't need <laughs> I think I would have sexual intercourse with her. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> In um, her butt. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Nowhere else. <laughs> okay. Oh, so every time I saw her at a Chiefs shit. game, I could be like, I fucked that chick in the ass. Oh, my God. That's terrible. Uh, but anyways, uh, a couple of weeks before, I thought this was interesting. Have you ever been fined $7,000 for not wearing socks? I don't even wear underwear. Yeah. Uh, Tyreek Hill got fined $7,000 for not wearing socks That's against the Broncos. Stupid. Oh, it's fucking dumb as shit. Uh, but I guess since he's not a chief fan, or he's not playing for the Chiefs anymore, I, the the whole thing with the the Vikings and the Chiefs though, mm-hmm. is it happened again? Like this is where Derek comes out smelling like a rose because of all of the fucking bullshit calls <laughs> that the Chiefs get at the end of every fucking game. I did see this on TikTok. I'll give oh, you yeah. the count of three to put your helmet on. Oh, <laughs> one, God. Two, two and a half. Don't make me get to three. So ref love strikes again for the Kansas City Chiefs. It's absolutely getting ab- it's getting fucking ridiculous. This is how they won the Super Bowl, and this mm-hmm. is how they won last week against the Jets. Jets Just on as well. opposite sides, yeah. It, it, this is absolutely fucking ridiculous. So that um, guy's name is Marcus Simeon. Mm-hmm. I wonder if he's related to Justin. Maybe. Uh, but anyways, uh, there was a holding penalty where the flag was actually thrown for the holding penalty. The refs actually conjugated and then picked up excuse me, picked up the flag, so no penalty towards the Chiefs. Well, whenever they were discussing about picking up the flag, the defensive player who was being accused of the holding penalty uh, came over and took his fucking helmet off, which is an unsportsmanlike conduct penalty, 15 yards, automatic first down for the other team. Now, that was after the play was over, so even if they pick up the flag, at least they still get penalized and get the ball. That's beside the point. Not only that, they also miss a illegal hands to the face by a defense player for the Kansas City Chiefs during the play, which is also a 15-yard penalty and an automatic first down. Still doesn't matter. Absolutely bullshit. And the Chiefs end up winning the game. But the worst part of it all was when the defender took off his helmet and goes up to the referee to plead his case. The referee, and you can read his fucking lips, just tells him, put the helmet back on. Sternly. As if, is he know that this could potentially be a, a deal breaker for the Kansas City Chiefs. Like, 
okay, this seems kind of <laughs> shitty. And Chief fans still turned a blind eye to it. They're like, oh, no, that's that wasn't a penalty. Zach Wilson should well, have beat him the week before, and now the Vikings had a good opportunity to beat them now. I feel like they just look out of sorts. Like, whether they've won or not, it's kind of like when the Bears win, where it's just like... Yeah, you won, but that wasn't clean. It didn't look nice. Like, you never looked like you were in control. Like, you you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. No, I agree with you. It's been kind of dirty almost. I I don't think the Chiefs are very good this year. I don't. I I don't even think they're the team that comes out of the AFC to go to the Super Bowl. I think they make the playoffs. I'll give them that. Yeah, for sure. But I do not think that they're going to be – they may not even make the AFC championship for the first time in a while. I have two very bold script predictions. Okay. Uh, One is super bold. Uh, One is – I'll give you the the least bold one first. Okay. Um, It'll – the AFC championship or the game before – is it going to come down to either one Miami in Kansas City? Okay, that'd Tyree, be a shootout. Tyreek Tyre Hill yeah. against Kansas City. Yeah, I think Miami um, beats the shit out. Of I know, I know they play in the regular season, but I could see that being the big focal point, the big story. Yeah, I agree. Or number two, and I know they stink. Uh, the Jets somehow find a way to start winning some games. I like the Jets. They sneak in on a wild card, and either in the divisional round uh, or at some point. All this buildup, it's going to be Rodgers versus Mahomes, and Mahomes will beat Rodgers and be known as the legend killer. I don't think Rodgers is playing this year. He's going to come back for this. He, he, no. He's already said he's going to play this season. His fucking again. Achilles was snapped in half. There's no way. I'm, dude, I've watched Kurt Angle win a gold medal with a broken, broken freaking neck. neck. Yeah. Like, it's, it's going to happen. I think one of those two things. Yeah, happens. but his neck didn't have to be moving the whole entire time. Yeah, just, you know what I mean? It like was, it was a WWE reference. Yeah, but, yeah. but <laughs> Jesus All right. Christ. Well, whatever. But, uh, I just I don't think there's I any can, way he comes back. I see it happening. I think that one of the two things is going to happen. So that's well, your book super it. bold one. Book well, it. That's my super bold one. Book super it. bold one. Are Jets versus Jets versus Chiefs or Dolphins versus Chiefs? Somebody one of those give teams. Derek ten to one odds on these bets. One of those teams. Okay. I might, I might go with you on that, there, Steve. <laughs> no, I'm. Sa- I don't even know if I want to. He's been right too many fucking times. I, I the other thing is, I is, also called the Bears game. My buddy was like, "Who do you got in the Bears oh, game?" I did they too. Terrible. I, did I was too. like, Dick, yeah. "But Dick Butkus just died. Yep. They threatened Eberflus's job. Yep. They did that with Matt there Nagy was two no years ago. Fucking way they were losing that game. They did that with Nagy two years ago. They're like, mm-hmm. if he loses this game, he's out. I'm like, oh, they're gonna win. They're gonna dominate. Yep. They're gonna dominate yep. and win. And they did. Yes. Eberflus is our worst winning uh, coach we've had since Lovey Smith. Not winning. Or losing. Yeah. Sorry, losing coach that we've had since Lovey Smith. Um, the other thing I was going to say was what, if you got those teams out of the AFC, who do you have out of the NFC that would make a good story? Like in the Super Bowl? Uh, no, just not, let's call it, let's go NFC Championship. I don't know much about. It. I, I haven't I watched. I think Seattle has something. They got something there. to prove. Yeah, I agree um, with that one. I mean, you have the San Francisco 49ers, which I don't maybe, think. Maybe Arizona? No. They're awful. I San mean, Fran, I could bad. see. San Francisco, I well, think. San Francisco, for sure. I mean, with that's the, a given. But I'm, we're talking about, like, out of out of nowhere. Uh, I'm just saying. Like, with out the, of left field. With oh, the I Brady narrative and being picked, like, last yeah. with Brock Purdy, I could see it being San Francisco. See, that's a good storyline. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. So you got the storyline being think, San Francisco. Uh, do you guys think this is Belichick's last year? Yeah. Like, he's been handed his last two losses, worst losses of his career. Career, yeah, the last he's done. two games. And I, th- and I think he questioned how good of a coach he was, too. I think they He just him looks him. so kind of out of sorts. Yeah, and bad. You know? Yeah. yeah. They're going to ask him to retire, I think. I, I think, think so. so too. Yeah. yeah, I think so. Yeah. Um, he'll he'll be... I don't know if he's personable enough to be on ESPN one day. No. He'll be like, what do you think, no. coach? He's uh-uh. like, uh-uh. Yep. No, he's out. <laughs> you know what I mean? He's like, out. Like, there's no... Yeah, yeah, huh. he's he's done. If he if he's not a head coach someplace, he's in he's like an offensive coordinator in an office or some like gonna, pres- he's, he's like a president coaching little league somewhere. Something. Or yeah, some something shit. stupid. No, if you're talking about out of the NFC, my three teams that I think uh, I got uh, the Philadelphia Eagles, and then I've got the San Francisco 49ers. I think that's going to be the NFC Championship game. But if you're talking about my dark horse, 
I mean, yeah. I know I'm biased because they're my team, but I think Detroit looks fucking good. Oh, they I look, think they look great. They look good. Yeah, I think, and, and they've been rebuilding for the past two, three years. I think like they do. They've, they've been kind of moving in the right direction. And, I agree and with that. Offensively, they're one of the strongest teams in the NFL. Yeah. However, their defense is what's majorly improved, and they you don't run against them. So, do the Jets' defense looks amazing? They do. Yeah, but really it, does. So does the fucking Steelers, and that's how they're winning. Cowboys the too. Cowboys defense. Not is. since not since they've had a couple injuries. So that is true. It is that what is it true. Is. But uh, that is the sports for this week. That's the current events. Now we get to move on to the fun shit because that's why everybody's really here. Um, yeah, so Monday Fun Day was awesome, but we didn't get as many uh, suggestions that we could use because we there were so many duplicates that we've already done in the past. So, uh, but we did have a few. Uh, but we're going to kick this thing off with overrated or underrated, and we are going to kick off this with the first one, which is overrated or underrated. Sweet Caroline. Oh yeah. Bum, 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 bum. All right. Uh, yeah, that. Over fucking rated. <laughs> Why, Derek? It's so good. God damn it, white people. <laughs> God <laughs> damn it. That's the same as the, where's the salt? Where's the goddamn salt? Yeah. Like it's the first time they ever got to say goddamn in their whole adult life. <laughs> <laughs> like, fuck that song. And, so good. And so good. Fuck you so for good. singing it. <laughs> it's the word. It's not even a good song. The fa- goddamn Saving Silverman. That's what yeah. fucking did it. Yeah, it was good. Uh, I love Jack Black, but fuck you, Jack Black. <laughs> <laughs> the fact that it pisses Derek off so much makes it so good, so good, so good. And so it's underrated. Mm-hmm. How about you there, Steve? Well, I lost my virginity to a girl named Caroline, <laughs> so I'm going to say underrated because she let me touch her boobs. <laughs> nice. Well, that's good enough. And they were big. That woo. <clears throat> yep. I've never, I never really had a chick with t- big boobs. Really? Never. It's the way to go, dude. I don't know. I'm telling you, they're snuggly. Grav- gravity sucks. No, yeah. they're fine. I mean, I mean, I think Let those over- torpedoes just hit you in the face. <laughs> it's great. I think C's, C's, and right, right, right before D's. That's 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 what I no, got. No, okay. nope. Need yeah. the big ones. All right, fine. Uh, anyways, next one. Uh, this comes in from Instagram. This is Tyler Placky. Uh, mm-hmm. he, he wants to know overrated or underrated sports betting. Underrated. I just I was sports betting while we've been doing this. Actually, you're talking to a guy. <laughs> and no it bullshit. Was so dumb too. I just bet the money line uh, Chicago <laughs> and uh, over six and a half for the Blackhawks game. Jesus. Over six and a half. Over six and a half. Fucking shit. I'm fucking stupid. Yes, you are. And I paid extra juice for that. Not too. only that, this is coming from a guy who actually bet on a chess game i did and I lost bet on the chess championship and lost yeah well i did i did lose <laughs> but i gotta you be bet. honest with you it did it it went to so i had to learn about chess, chess. after i bet it i was like i yeah. want to kind of know what i'm the watching fucking here. board you game you didn't bet on an american did you Mm-mm-mm. yeah i did ah. actually yeah i did uh he was gonna beat this german fuck no he that, wasn't yeah no he was <laughs> It went so. I guess apparently, when you're like at the end of a chess match and it's not happening fast enough, like the matches are just boom, 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 because they're trying to get you to make as many mistakes. Yeah. And there was there's a certain set of or like a, a total of matches that you can. It, it literally went to the very last match. Everything was tied until then, and everybody thought this kid was going to fucking win, and he was going to be the chess champion of the world. The little fucker. <laughs> he got tired or something. I don't know what happened. Yeah. Um, He's he no lost. Phil Ivy. No, not at all. <laughs> not at all. Fuck. Um, Phil Ivy would have at least cheated. <laughs> uh, You've been I, like, you want to invest in full tilt poker? <laughs> full tilt chess. Yeah, no shit. I can't remember his name, and it, it, I, I think I can figure it out. Bobby Fisher? No. <laughs> I can't remember his fucking it's name. Chess guy, Magnus. It is. Magnus Carlson. That's yeah. that's who yeah. I was. I, yeah. I, I've seen. There you go. I've seen him. He's a dude. I'm telling you, you never bet against a guy named Magnus. Now, why would you do I, that? You know, God, the guy won like every strongman contest. In the <laughs> it sounds like a fucking. It sounds like an '80s villain that Sylvester Stallone was gonna fight. Or something. <laughs> Yeah. That no. killed everybody but Stallone. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. And then this fucking American kid was Stallone. Anyways. An I- Italian American kid. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. 
<laughs> All right, next one. Oh, sorry. Wait, you, you, I, I, now I'm interested to see what Tyler thinks about sports betting. I, Does he think it's overrated or maybe. underrated? I don't know. Derek, what do you think? That depends on what you're betting on. If you're betting on the NFL, way overrated. Um, of course, <laughs> you're, you're, you're fucking stupid. Um, other than that, now I, I'm going to say overrated. When, it, for when we first got it legalized, I bet a lot. Yeah. And then now, the last probably year and it a half. It was more fun to have a bookie. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it was more fun when it was a little more nefarious. It's not you as know? fun when you're like, it's all right, a big well. big word for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah no. You're it's like, well, I need Aaron Judge to hit a home run, mm-hmm. Scherzer to have eight strikeouts. Yes. And, and it's like, come the fuck. I on. loved when you would just put in a bet, and that was it. Yeah. But you could bet the halves, and that was about it. Now you yeah. can live bet. You can prop bet. You can this bet. You can that bet. You can, It's just too much. Yeah, like it's you're watching much. the Super Bowl. If a guy shits his pants on the field. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do. I always bet on the coin toss and then the Gatorade color, and then usually the over under on the na- on the anthem. Okay, those are my biggest prop bets of the Super Bowl. Okay, uh, I'm gonna say it's underrated. I really enjoy it. I play daily fantasy. Uh, I play DFS on the weekends for mm-hmm. for DraftKings. Yeah, and I have yet to lose this year. Nice. That's because my real fantasy team sucks. Nice. My, the best uh, thing to bet on now this year, I think, in the Super Bowl because Usher's, on, Us, Usher's oh. on the halftime show, right? Oh, I think shit. So. I, don't know. I think it's Usher. So, it? I'd yeah. be okay with that. I think the best thing it to bet. It was going to be Lizzo and then her fat ass. Man. <laughs> she <laughs> she's made actually, her dancers eat pussy filled act- bananas. No, she's actually, I think the rumor is she's going to be one of the linemen. Khalil Mack? Nope. (laughs) (laughs) Hit some pine. We got the Lizinator coming in. (laughs) Glizzo. So I think the best over under is going to be. Uh, all the angry white people on Facebook going, well, I don't need to I watch know. that halftime yeah, show. Exactly. Should have put Chris Stapleton on there. Exactly. I don't think so. I, think that, I don't think that at all. Usher's fucking awesome. Oh, trust me. Whenever they had like Dr. Dre and shit, that, that was, was the like best half halftime show ever. It was ever. fucking awesome. It was I love fucking it. great. That's my favorite one, but I saw a lot of people like on like cake and shit. I think, oh, I think just for that show, they should let old dude out of prison do a little remix for Ignition. <laughs> just like one... <laughs> Song and then we that can was, take him back. That wasn't an Usher song, though. No, I know. Okay. Uh, no, no, no. But it goes with the Usher stuff. Uh, you know okay. what I mean? Like it's baby making music. It's okay. You know. All right. And then he can pee on somebody and then go right back. Right, to prison. right back there. Uh, anyway. <laughs> that would be a huge spectacle at the Super Bowl half. They'd just be piss shooting out of cans. <laughs> <and> <laughs> cans it's digital piss. <laughs> yeah. no, it's all CGI. Like the, looks like the goddamn Water World show at I Universal love Studios. It. It's Stinks in here. <laughs> <laughs> you got to bet on what color the piss is going to be. Is it going to be clear because he drank a lot of water? Dark yellow because he's dehydrated? That's so gross. <laughs> or green because of gonorrhea? <laughs> <laughs> I love it. That's okay. Awesome. Next one. Overrated or underrated? Sex that is so loud that you both are obviously faking. Underrated. <laughs> Absolutely. I'm not faking. I'm that tired. <laughs> That is that one hundred. That is me literally struggling to get those last few pumps in, and my wife going. Get off me. I love it. I love it. That's great. That, that is makes not. Me, that is not. That makes faking. me think it's underrated. Now. <laughs> I was gonna say overrated, but I think it's underrated now. I mean, how can you argue you with that? Lived, you haven't lived till you have to take a hit of your inhaler before you come. Exactly. <laughs> or just gross. don't take it, and then you have that autoerotica shit. <laughs> People yeah. do an autoerotica with asthma. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I'm getting force choked by Vader. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, your wife would think she was like the fucking greatest. And she's like, I'm fucking amazing in bed. <laughs> wow. Okay. Um, I'm going to be real on this and say absolutely overrated. This is not fun. It's like, like, have you ever had a like a sex competition with the people in the next room? Have you ever done that? Oh, it's a swingers club. No. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> no. No, it's like when you're in college and you guys have a dorm room and you guys have a wall that joins with each other and you start fucking somehow the same time that the neighbors do. I did that in a tent. <laughs> <laughs> like I did 
I did. Uh, I did get uh, scolded the next day because around the campfire. Yeah. Well, you're not supposed to have a tent in a truck stop, Whoops. Steve. <laughs> it's strictly for sleeping in the car. <laughs> Oh, well, those shit. guys need a place to sleep. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, yeah, it's way overrated. Fuck this shit. It's really embarrassing, and you just kind of know that you're obviously not doing it anything to make her make those kind of noises. Agreed. So it's so fake. It's just such a letdown because it's like, okay, you're going way too fake on this. <laughs> like, I don't need this. This is a bad idea. So, yeah, no. Huh. Next one. She's overrated or underrated. Sending your spouse nudes. It depends on if it's a male or a female sending them. <laughs> well, it's you. When it's a chick, when it's my wife sending them, it's so underrated. Yeah. Yeah, she but sends then good when ones. It's me She does. They're good. They're really good. But when it's me sending them, she's like, so can't see it. <laughs> <laughs> Steve, she's like, Steve, you've got to stop spray tanning. Yeah. It's, uh, it's a little overrated. <laughs> It's just a hit to the fucking ego. You know? Like, it's just... It looks like the one cue ball on the I pool send, table. Then I just send them to random people on Facebook, like, is this bitch lying? <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. Oh, this is so underrated. It's so underrated. It's not even funny. It's so underrated. Now, granted, if she sent me nude pics, I, absolutely, that'd be great. I, it doesn't take much to make us men happy. Mm -hmm. You send a picture of your boobs. It's amazing. But it is. Yeah, but if she sends a picture of herself just being quiet, that's pretty fucking hot. Too. <laughs> you know? With her mouth like, shut. Whoa, you're not bitching. <laughs> I knew that shit was possible. You fucking faker. Oh, shit. <laughs> Uh, but yes, if we send them, if we send nudes, it's like, how, how can I make this thing look bigger than it actually is? You got to put it next to a hot wheel. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Tell her it's a real car. That's why I keep, that's why I keep a can of Vandy camps, beanie weenies in my fucking car at all times. That is the real van from Scooby-Doo. I swear to God. <laughs> oh, fuck. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's uh yeah, it is what it is. Okay. All right, Derek. I'm, 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 I'm going to say overrated. Okay. There is not a part of my body I'm proud of other than my calves. <laughs> nice. And Those my, are pretty sexy. Yeah, and my wife doesn't want to see calf pics <laughs> or the rest of me. <laughs> <laughs> you have to have sex in the dark, don't you? Oh, I no. I glad, it. No, it's worse. I glow in the dark. <laughs> is that That's even it. worse. I look like one of those flabby glow worms from the 80s. That's I love awful. it. That's That's disgusting. awful. It's awful. Disgusting. Okay, and last one. Overrated or underrated? Scottish lesbian porn. <laughs> Anything with the word Scott in it is overrated. <laughs> Time to Google. <laughs> I don't think this exists. I, I hope it doesn't exist. I'm sure that, that it that it has to exist. But the porn video Scottish of it? lesbian comes right up. Oh my god. <laughs> no. Oh, this is not good. No. Are you kidding me? That they're kinda that, hot. Yeah, they're kinda hot. Okay. Oh shit, they're furry over there, aren't they? <laughs> Fuck me. Oh. oh, here's a Scottish MILF with a giant vagina. <laughs> Holy fuck, is she Dude, that chick is stuffing haggis into her vagina. <laughs> I don't think this is good. Is that Mike Myers? Why does everybody in this porn have a picture of Mike Myers on their wall? I don't know. This is pretty hot, actually. Oh, that chick was 90. That's actually... Uh, look at those fucking floppy boobs. Oh, God. Those, it's lesbian look at porn. that. Those it's, things go all the way to her knees. Oh, it's geez. lesbian porn. Get over here and let me put these fucking titties in your butt hole. It's lesbian I porn. I love it. It's Dyke Myers. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I like it. It's good. Oh, oh shit. Oh, there's actually a couple... Of, oh. Looks like no. you're ready to get smacked. It says they get punished from mean lesbians. <laughs> oh, God. Well... Now I gotta clear my history. <laughs> <laughs> my wife will be like, "What the fuck is he into?" <laughs> oh no, I can just imagine. I'm gonna come to the bar one night and and fucking your your wife is speaking in a Scottish accent. I'm gonna go. What the fuck did Steve make you do? Get over here. And let me <laughs> let me suck on your great big labia. <laughs> <laughs> 
I love it. That's great. That's fucking underrated as shit, dude. I had no idea. There is only one. That's awesome. There's only one accent in this world that is a total turn off to me, and that is the fucking Scottish. If you can imagine them just talking to you like this, because you gotta have a lot of throat in it. In oh, the, buddy, that wasn't even a uh, landing strip. That was an Amazon forest. <laughs> God damn it! So this that is was, way overrated for me. How about you, Derek? I already said anything with the word Scott in it is okay. overrated. All right. Well, here's the fun. one thing I do like about that is they weigh each other in stones. <laughs> I'm like two stones over there. So no I'm kidding. A, yeah. I'm, I'm Stonehenge over there. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm fatter than fuck here. Yeah. If I was just a couple stones, I think that's fine. You're still in, fatter in, than fuck over there, in too. Egypt, Not really. In Egypt, I'm a pyramid. <laughs> oh, that's awesome, dude. You were built by the aliens. <laughs> I was built by slaves. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> They were Jewish slaves. Yeah, it's different. It's different. It's different. It's a different time it's different. there. Then yeah. all this woke bullshit. <laughs> Slavery gets shit done. God That's damn what they say. Oh, fuck. Okay, <laughs> fuck's sake. We're going to move on from overrated to underrated and go to that's where I draw the line. Oh, we didn't even bring up the fact that it was Columbus Day yesterday, and no. Derek didn't even have to work. Speaking of enslaving people. <laughs> I, I heard indigenous it was people. Indigenous people day. Yeah, yeah, same thing. Oh, my goodness. Okay, that's where I draw the line. All of these are from you guys, I think, uh, <laughs> or very close to that. <clears throat> anyway, oh, no, first one's not. Uh, but anyways, that's where I draw the line. These are situations uh, that uh, we get to pick I where we draw like the line. These. These I like these. These are fucking cool. They are fun. Uh, first one, what is the maximum you are willing to pay for a parking spot at a sporting event or concert? 20 bucks. Yeah, I'm with the 20 bucks. Wow. Yeah. That is I've a... I've paid more in LA and Dallas. I think I paid 50 bucks, but that, that was it. That is a clean sweep across the board. Yeah. I am not too fat to walk a mile. Yeah, exactly. I, 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 exactly. I, all I need to do is just go find somewhere and I'll find my way to get I would there. rather park in somebody's driveway and yeah. give them 50 bucks than the I fucking I, arena. I won't take an Uber if it's more than like 15 bucks. Really? I'll walk. Oh, don't yeah. take an Uber in my way. <laughs> Absolutely. Like San Fran, all of our Ubers were like $12. Each way. No shit. Yeah. It's a small Weird. city. It was all, it was like twelve bucks for yeah. every. I'm like, all right, I'm in. But that first, like the second day, I'm like, you know, we Ubered to the to Pier Thirty Nine. I bet we could walk it. It was like two miles up and down those oh, big hills. Oh shit, yeah. I walked it and I was like, fuck it. I'm. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, that's good. No, but like you're it. you're exactly right. Whenever we have the the big PGA tournament here in Wichita, uh, it's like costs like sixty bucks to park at the course, but it costs again like ten bucks for an Uber. Yeah. Like fuck that. Yeah. Fuck that. So yeah, twenty bucks all the way through. I'm I'm proud of us on that one, boys. Uh next one, this comes in from Facebook. This is from Brandon Strong. Mm -hmm. He wants to know how hairy is too hairy when it comes to a woman's sex appeal. Oh. Yeah. Uh, I'm good with full on bush, but if you don't shave your armpits or your legs, we got problems. Yeah. I I'm but not like, not like, I don't know. How do I explain this? Not like, uh, <laughs> not a Muppet. You yeah, don't want her to not, be a Muppet. Yeah. Like uh, if it's full on bush waka, from, like, waka. from middle of back to belly button, <laughs> like wrap around. <laughs> That's a fucking issue. That's, like, it has to be cleaned up a little bit. That's Chewbacca. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, it can't just yeah. be fresh out of a burka <laughs> or something like that. It's, uh, and then, like I said, the, the legs and the armpits are, I'm, I'm out. Especially the armpits, like, you know, leg, hair, I guess, maybe not, you know, perfectly shaved, whatever. That's fine. But the armpits, I'm, I'm way out. Okay. I, I will say this. I, I mean, there has definitely been times where I've fooled around to where, uh, you know, she's a little fuzzy. You yeah, know, she she's got the prickly leg hair and stuff yeah. like that, or yeah, or, or obviously she's getting ready to to shave down there. Um, <clears throat> my wife gets Brazilian waxes. Okay, that is that's what oh, I do. The that's way exactly to go. What I do. The way to go. I don't. It's so amazing. It's so amazing. Uh, so I'll, I'll deal with it. I, I will absolutely deal with it. But man, whenever it's a Brazilian wax, that is the shits. So that's mine. How about you? 
I like, I old, like it. I like the old high and tight. Like the yeah, old, yeah, oh, yeah, there you the go. The old military <laughs> hair, yeah. haircut on the puss there. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I like. Just nice, clean. <laughs> little mullet never hurt anybody, <laughs> though. Yeah, I'm know? out on that one, I think. Yeah. <laughs> How about the a, Jedi braid? No. Nah. No? Okay. That was worth a shot. Uh, but yeah, that's that one. See, uh, I wish I wish we had Brandon's answer on this. Like, that's the only thing I feel like we're missing. I, I don't. I don't think so. So you'd be surprised. Some of the answers you get from from listeners, yeah, they're not as good as you would hope. Just being honest with you. That sucks. Yeah, I know. Uh, next one. This also. I, I wish he, Brandon's answer was yes. <laughs> <laughs> Brandon will take anything. Yeah, you know that's what I mean. Awesome. Uh, <laughs> just a little bit of neck beard. <laughs> yeah, <it>. exactly. <laughs> oh, We're talking God. about the face. <laughs> Goatees are cool, I guess. <laughs> like the landing strip right around That's the top. That's awesome. Uh, okay, uh, next one Not is... too much hair around her Adam's apple. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> just the one you can pull out. Yeah. That's awesome. Okay, next one. Facebook uh, as well. This is from Keith Litz. Just a little on the nipples. Yeah. Oh, fuck it. <laughs> Little afros on the nipples are not going to work. Just a tuft on the nips, and that's it. Oh, dude, if you suck on a nipple and you're like, <laughs> and you have to like, oh, that, that would be that would be a bad day for sure. Okay, Facebook, Keith Litsky, he wants to know, what is the maximum number of decorative pillows you should allow your wife to put on your furniture? This dirty bitch. <laughs> My wife has so many fucking pillows on our couches that we are not allowed to sit on the couches because of the fucking pillows. <laughs> I'm serious, like 110%. And when I get pissed off enough, it's usually after I've been drinking, I just start throwing the pillows. <laughs> like, that's my temper tantrum, is throwing fucking pillows everywhere. She doesn't put them on the bed, though, which is kind of Oh, weird. yeah. Really? Like, yeah, it's just on the couches. And it's, it's out of fucking control. Out of control completely i am on the other Can't even si- sit down i'm on the other side i i have a very very awesome cool wife um she has very few accent pillows we have zero on our bed that's great oh absolutely that's but, great uh, if you look at her couch it looks weird if you don't have two pillows at the ends yeah you just have two that's it that's all you need maybe maybe you know a couple two three whatever it is she has you don't need the whole fucking couch lined up with pillows right she has two pillows that come no. with the couch and then one accent pillow to make it match the color of the walls and the other decorations around it because okay. it's a different color I like so it. that brings it together oh yeah that's it that's fucking I love it that. so i draw the line at three that's where i'm going yeah she's never drawn the line anywhere i'm sure just, mm-hmm. she just goes to target and has mm-hmm. a fucking field day how about you Derek? uh my wife's a big maga supporter so we have a couch full of uh my pillows <laughs> oh, okay <laughs> <laughs> I, bet you, I hope she's <laughs> listening to this. I bet you they're really soft. <laughs> <laughs> they're lumpy. Yeah, I know his wife. Uh, she is definitely <laughs> a Trump fanatic. <laughs> <laughs> definitely. No, I will say uh, two to three on the couch. Okay. None on the chair. And I, she finally took the ones off the bed. Oh, like I, there's. I'm like, you're just throwing them on the floor so we can go That's to sleep, true. Yeah. and then putting them back on the. Be- I don't even believe in making the fucking bed. Yeah, because I it's agree. just gonna get messy again as soon as I go back to sleep. Yep, it's yeah. us. Like if we have company and they're gonna be in our bedroom, sure, make it. Otherwise, no. Yeah, well, yeah, I agree. That's fair enough. I agree. <clears throat> All right, uh, next one. This is also coming in from Facebook. Fuck uh, yeah. This is from Robert Pletz. He wants, Robert to, he wants to know how many movies can be in a series before it's too many. Two. The answer to this question is fucking Fast and Furious. Yeah. That's way too fucking many. Way too many. Two. Um, Final Destination. Saw. Mm-hmm. I mean, God damn. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Three for me. I think a, a trilogy. Yeah, good. yeah. All right. I a, like that. A, a trilogy, and then that's it. <laughs> yeah. that, nobody's ever been, the fourth one was better than the first one. Like, I've never heard that. Yeah, I've never, ever heard that. Yeah. I, there, okay. At, where, at, has no, there, at, has no, there been a couple? No. Yes, I've got one. Well, my Wait, favorite Rocky is Rocky Four. Let Rocky Four. Let me ask you this. I've got two. Uh, I and think Creed four. Two, I think. or Creed Three wasn't Creed, that good. Yeah, yeah. Um, let me ask you this: What about like the Happy Madison movies? Do we count that? As, no, like, no, uh, no. Okay, no. Right. we're like okay. John Wick okay. one, John Wick two, John Wick. Two. Yeah, it's just too many John Wicks. I, I saw a John Wick with Steven Seagal in it. <laughs> it was it was all the other ones. Dude, it's <laughs> fucking great. Look right there. There he is. 
<laughs> Damn. I'll send you this, Scotty. You can put it up so everybody can see what Jeez, we're looking at. That's John uh, Thick. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. He has a gigantic belly. John Thick. Uh, yeah. I'm, I'm, I think I'm going to go a little bit different. I'm going to say, because if you take out, if you take out, if you only say three, that means you can't have the Star Wars series. Mm -hmm. And then the other thing that if you don't do six, you can't have Harry Potter. Harry, excuse me, Harry Potter doesn't break my heart near as much as it does. Yeah, but Star I think Wars. that was just the question uh, too. When Brandon Strong had the Harry question, oh, yeah. Yeah. too many, yeah. too many. Harrys. Once it's on her Potter, I'm out. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I, I'm. I think I'm gonna go. I think I'm gonna go with six. I think that's the maximum that you can have. Oh, absolute that's total too maximum. Many. Oh. That is too I, I think fucking that, many, sir. Hold on, hold no, on. Not holding on. Uh, okay, fine. Can we compromise and go with five? You That's can. not a compromise. I'm, That's not even going, half right. I'm going down. Seven. <laughs> no. All right, 12. I, I just I completely understand, but I think Star Wars is going to piss me off. I I don't I don't have to have the new ones. I don't want the new yeah, ones. The new I'm, ones can I'm, suck it. I'm soaking the Empire old ones. Strikes Back. Yeah, and, those are the best ones. Yeah, for sure. Uh, but I, I'm start the ones the prequels are Return also start, starting to grow on me a little bit too. But I, I have to have at least four because the best out of all of the Lethal Weapons was Lethal Weapon Four. By far. Mm. It, it was the best one. Rocky Four was, I think, the best one, too. A lot of people so, argue with that, but I love Rocky Four. Yeah, Rocky One was... Yeah, uh, was yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Rocky, Rocky One or Rocky Four, phenomenal. those are two... Those are amazing movies. So I, I understand. Uh, but yeah, I, I think I'm going to stick with my, my six. I think that's good. Okay. Um, Here we go. All right. Uh, and last one. Uh, this is also... I, the idea comes from Facebook. I modified the question because it was something a little bit different. Uh, but it, it, the, Jeff Friedman gave me the idea. Jeff Friedman? Friedman. I'm gonna I like it. I think it's fried man. Fried man? He's a yeah. fried man. Okay. That's fair enough. I mean, it's spelled that way. So yeah, it's probably. exactly. And I know fried when I see it's it. because yeah. he met a Scottish lesbian. <laughs> 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 Shit. Uh, anyways, uh, he wants to know, where do you draw the line of being a fan of someone and being obsessive and creepy? <laughs> Hashtag Taylor Swift. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, dude, I, I of think a team or of a person, anything fan of yeah, team. I was going to say we're bears person. fans. So this is kind of outside our ballpark. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. like we have to feel embarrassed when you wear a jersey we with for. the paper bag over your yeah, head. Exactly. Yeah. 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 It's uh, I don't know. I got it. I think if you like try and picture yourself like, uh, you know, if you're a fan of Taylor Swift and then you picture yourself like doing her in the butt. Yeah. You know, but I'm not a fan of her. So mine's normal. Yeah. I, yeah. I go ahead and go there. Mine is whenever you see like these teams, it's mainly in the NFL, but when you see their, this, their team lose, and they just start ripping all the shit off the walls That's and insane, slamming it and dude. throwing it. They so throw a fucking dumb. You throw a hammer through the fucking TV and you're but like, there again, Fuck dude, we've, we've been Bears fans all of our lives, so we're so used to that. Yeah, you know what I mean. Some of these people aren't conditioned. Like, like, what's the newest team in the NFL? The newest good newest? team, probably Detroit. Probably the Jack <laughs> okay, no, well, no, no, no. The, 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 Ravens. the Raiders. The Raiders. The Raiders. Well, the Raiders have been around. The Ravens are I know, the newest. But, okay, team. Yeah. so they they haven't even been here long enough to really disappoint people. Oh, you know? I see what you're saying. So okay. so those people aren't conditioned to be like, oh, we lost again. You know what I mean? I see the Jaguars or the Panthers. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So maybe they freak the fuck out because they don't know how to do it yet. But I, I don't know, man. I think that's uh, I, I like that. I, yeah, if you're punching your TV and shit, and you haven't won or you haven't lost at least ten k. Yeah, I go bet, with that. I go. Know? I agree with you that that that's that's more sports team. I'm thinking myself. I'm thinking of like an actual person. So I, I've heard of people like collecting hair. I knew a girl that Shut did that. The fuck up. I swear to Are God. You serious? I swear to God. And and it's not like this hair is fucking cheap. Like the, you could buy a lock of like Wayne Newton's hair for like two thousand dollars. What? I, I'm not even joking, they make dude. I'm gonna start selling my fucking hair. <laughs> you don't have How do you much. do that? No, but I'm serious. Like, can you imagine what a lock of Taylor Swift's hair to Swifties would cost? Which hair? Uh, it hurt. <laughs> <laughs> well, it depends on if you ask uh, Brandon Strong. <laughs> Because that might be too much. <laughs> I'm dead serious, though. But, like, people that start collecting shit like that, that is so creepy to me. 
and and like whenever what's the person that you're a fan of is doing something whatever happens in their life if it somehow affects the your mood and wrecks your life like that's just crazy but collecting hair is like a fucking i'll sell craziness. my fucking hair right now for a dollar yeah all of it or getting a tattoo of you'll that shave person. your head for a dollar i'm fucking in yeah <sighs> you no, got- i'll shave the lower one yeah, yeah, there you uh, go. Uh, <laughs> Send it to Derek. He wants to collect those. I wonder what it would cost for me to shave my head. I don't know. That's a good question. Why haven't we asked that? What would it cost for you to shave your head? How me? much would you do it? Yeah, you. You uh, or you. I've done it for nothing. I would do it for... Oh, what a fucking dork. Man. Now I'd do it for 100 bucks. 100 bucks. Oh, wow, yeah. that's kind of cheap. Scotty, what about you? I think me and you are paying him fifty dollars a piece. Just to I shave like his fucking it. Head. Nah. Let's do it. The next fucking episode. Let's I mean, do this. I can't. I got Halloween. I got to go with my buddy for Halloween. You, well, now uh, you can change. Your, growing this shit out. Okay, now, but well, after that. Well, now you it. can change your costume and go as Uncle Fester because if you yep. shaved your head, that's exactly what you'd look like. God, that's a really good one, Scotty. Just uh, <laughs> that's a, Jesus Christ. He does. He looks <laughs> yeah. like. Him. Why are you not on stage? That is amazing. I'm just saying. That's that goddamn nugget. He's a regular Bill Burr. I've been growing my hair out for like a year. And it looks great. You should keep it that way. No, I think I should cut it off for <laughs> oh, a price. I don't want Thousand dollars. Okay, fuck. Go for it. Or me. if there's some little kid that had like leukemia or something like that. And oh, she's I, did, like, I did that. Hey, you I cut it off hair. and make Hey, look I, at you, Baldy. I would just, I would like just be make. like, well, do your parents have $1,000? I, yeah. I, did, I did that shit, too. I, I, there, was, there was... <laughs> just do it to mom. Because that's all we're doing it there was for. A, there, was a, there was a girl named Jocelyn that had a rare form of like a brain cancer. Yeah. Uh, that's why I shaved mine the last time. I, I Everybody shaved their head, and I, I also did that for awareness and stuff like that and it was really sad she ended up passing away i was fucked up but yeah i had a but, friend of yeah. mine that had to have a brain surgery and so she had to shave her head which is the last time i shaved it and that's well, that we all it. we all did that. Yeah, yeah that's cool and that well, that's that, cool yeah that's why it's that. yeah anyways uh see we're not all pretty fucking asshole people we're actually no, i mean people. i still said <clears throat> your parents have a thousand dollars that's i mean let's not <laughs> one yeah, time i true. did get drunk and do it the first time i Shut ever did the fuck it up are you serious oh no i'm dead how serious. drunk do you have to be to do that i don't know jaeger man <laughs> and uh <laughs> jaeger drunk. Did you just have clippers sitting around your house and you're like you know what i hate about my head i just my wondered hair. what it looked like i was like i wonder if i bick it so oh, then I took, you thought you were gonna be you thought you were gonna be all Bruce Willis. So I fucking bicked it and I was doing it drunk and I had the razor and I took it and was like had turned my hand as I did it. Oh and I had a gash like that oh, long oh, on the top shit. of my fucking Yikes. head. Ouch. And I was so shit hammered, I didn't even feel it. I was just like <laughs> You woke up the next morning and your pillows full oh, of blood. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Fuck. It's fucking awesome. freezing cold too. <laughs> Holy hey. shit. When you I when you it. bick your head Every side of the pillow is the cool side of the pillow. Nice. <laughs> like, I love it's it. It's fucking cold. Wow. I love it. Uh, but anyways, that's uh, that's where I draw the line this week. Now we get to move on to uh, questions and Spanish questions. Preguntas. Uh, mm-hmm. This week, we got mm-hmm. some good questions this week. I'm really excited. Uh, so we're going to start this off with the very first question. It is, while the U.S. and the Soviet Union raced to the moon, what did Mexico try to accomplish? The same fucking thing, man. Only they didn't like try to use a rocket or rocket fuel they were trying to use your asshole and <laughs> hot peppers <laughs> <laughs> that's what i think okay uh i think they just built more shit okay um, i i mine i i think mexico trying to accomplish well they created oh, selena they, they accomplished it they accomplished they accomplished it, it. Yeah. yeah uh they created the lowest chevy truck what they created the lowest chevy truck they, it's, they, I'm sorry. They it's, slammed it's, it. It's Chevy. Oh, it's Chevy. <laughs> <laughs> like the actor, Chevy Chase. Chevy, yep. Chevy Chase. Chevy Chase. Uh, Chevy Chase. Some of those trucks are pretty fucking dope. Those I like, have been like, working with Mexican people since I was 16 years old. Every day on construction sites, I'm now 46. I guarantee you it's Chevy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I love those people. I they are too. my favorite human beings. They're the fucking hardest working people I in love the world. Them. Yeah, they're yeah, great. They're awesome. <laughs> All right. Uh, next question. Uh, if you were a gynecologist. I see him sometimes, mm-hmm. depending on how gullible she is. Very good. If you were a gynecologist. <laughs> Very good. You done? Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Damn, you, you sound like a parent. <laughs> God damn it. Are you done? If you were a gynecologist... Do you want to get grounded? You're on thin ice, bud. 
It's a white parent. I know. I know. <laughs> oh, I know. A black parent will just knock your ass in the next I week. I like it. That's awesome. If you were a gynecologist, <laughs> if you were a gynecologist, what's something you should never say or do during an examination? You don't feel a wedding or a wedding ring rolling around in there, do you? <laughs> Steve? Not a size six. (laughs) Would it kill you to shower next time? (laughs) Smells like fresh baked bread in here. (laughs) I I think that. Okay. To sit there and do a ventriloquist with your hands on her twat. I think that'd be bad. That's a contriloquist. Yeah, it is a contriloquist. It is. (laughs) What if the gynecologist had like the air like a dentist and they just made the lip? That'd be fucking awesome, dude. Oh fuck! Or if they had it um, like and, the, then, and then he would ask a question just like the dentist uh, too before putting the air in there. <laughs> like, I'm sorry, what did you say? <laughs> it's just sitting there fucking. That would queefing. be fucking awesome. Dude. Oh that shit! That would be the best gynecologist ever or like uh, the, in the history of gynecology. Like the optometrist when they check for glaucoma, just put your vagina up to this thing and you're gonna feel a <laughs> burst of air. <laughs> no <laughs> shit. <laughs> Oh, it's <laughs> the so fucking worst thing ever. The, I'm like, oh, now I know what a female porn star feels like. When it's gonna come on her face. It's like, uh, is it uh, like, I I'm, love it. It would really also suck. You know, if the doctor just kind of lifts up the blanket and just goes, oh my God, you know, something like that yeah. and scares the shit out of him. Oh, that'd be great. This isn't where I park my car. <laughs> 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 That's awesome. That is great. Okay, next question. What's a strange sign to see in a church? Gays welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Those exist. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> they exist. Um, I don't know. That's kind of a tough one, man. I've, I've been to a lot of churches. Yeah. God's last name is not fucking damn it. That's mine. Oh, like I think that's probably there. a real sign. That wouldn't <laughs> surprise me if that's a sign I don't in know. a church somewhere. It might be. Uh, uh, anything, Steve? Uh, Kids in the back? No cannonballs in our baptismal area. <laughs> I don't know. That's pretty How good. Judas should have been aborted. Oh, <laughs> oh holy fuck. shit. That one's pretty good. That is pretty good. I like that. Um, all right. Next question. Weird things that you start to think about during sex. Holy fuck, this is better when she's alive. <laughs> oh, my God. That is fucked up. I don't know, man. I You have to think about weird things sometimes. I have. You know? I, I, no, this is a true fucking to, story. Uh, to delay things. I've got a true you know? fucking story. Okay, so whenever I was in college, I had one of those mattresses that was like the or eat or eat oh yeah yeah, yeah. all right no bullshit i was doing it and all of a sudden because that was right around the time when the song came out but remember the or eat or what it is what's up so here i am having sex song having sex with my girlfriend and all of a sudden i'm just going what it is ho what's up like i'm like like, yeah and i'm like all right that that worked out uh how about you uh whether i want to be buried or cremated (laughs) (laughs) oh really yeah Okay. That's what I that's what I think about sometimes. I, I mean sometimes uh yeah. There's never really a good time. I think that's a good one. Yeah. Yeah. What if you have to like m- try not to come? Same thing. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. I, 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 yeah. The idea of me being buried or burned. That makes him come faster. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> I guess if I'm trying to come, it's whether I'd rather be buried alive or cremated alive. <laughs> 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 one's like well i've got all this weight of dirt on my body but the other one it's a thousand degrees uh, i think for me it's when she's like really acting like she's having a great time and i'm like how have you not won an oscar yeah i thought you guys were on yeah. strike right now this is bullshit <laughs> that's fucking great <laughs> all right and uh last one what fictional character would be great as your local weatherman? Hmm. Come back to me. Okay. Scotty. Zoinks like a scoop. What's the weather? No. Okay. It's rainy outside. No. That, no? No. No. Uh-huh. No. 
I'm going to go with Kenny McCormick. I don't know who the fuck that is. The Kenny from South Park that doesn't oh, speak. Yeah. He just oh, mumbles. Be bad. <laughs> that that That'd guy. Be bad. I yes. kind of thought this all I think, the he'd, same. I think he'd be accurate about the same amount of times. Okay. I like that. And he's always wearing like a winter that. coat, so in the wintertime, he'll be dead on accurate. Absolutely. 100%. Yeah. I was kind of thinking about that, too, but I was kind of thinking like, Okay, all right. We got the rain coming in from the west, kind of thing. Okay. Oh, the the, the counselor, yeah, yep. yeah. Thinking about that too. I think uh, I think the chick that drives the magic school bus. Ah, Miss Frizzle. Frizz. Yeah, Miss Frizzle. Yeah, she's good. Yeah, because it's all magic anyway. Yeah, absolutely. No one really knows. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is questions and preguntas for this week. But uh, questions and preguntas. Yeah, Spanish questions. Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, you can Jeffy. send them, Jeffy. send your <laughs> suggestions to us at Laughing on the Sidelines on Facebook, on Instagram, and at L O T Sidelines on Twitter. Every Monday we have Monday Fun Day, and you can uh, submit them that way because that helps us out a lot. Mm-hmm. But now we get to move on to my fate. Well, my second favorite part of the show. This is the Laughing on the Sidelines draft. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines draft. Um, I lost embarrassingly last week. Yeah, you suck. I I guess. This, Boo! Uh, I voted on yeah. it. Yeah. Well, thanks, Steve. I appreciate it. Um, I voted for you. I appreciate it. But no, I took uh, the absolute dead last. I think the likes beat me by a lot. So that's just to tell you how bad my made-up holidays were. Uh, Derek ended up winning the draft, so... Uh, National Eat Pussy and Push Kids Off Bike Day. <laughs> he sure nice. did. Nice. He did. April 9th. Uh, that's his birthday. What? <coughs> yeah, April 9th. Really? Made up yeah. holidays. Absolute that's amazing. S- yeah. So it's so coincidental that it happened to, uh, to be on his day. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but anyways... Ask my buddy Jordan without even... He didn't even listen to the show because he's smart. Yeah. And ask him if he's heard of <laughs> National <laughs> Eat Pussy and Push Kids Off Bike Day, and he will 100% agree. <laughs> I he love it. it. All right. Uh, well, because uh, JP came Dude, in why second. Why did they have to put the hoe over? <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> I don't know. But hang on. Let me see her again. She's. Uh, mm. I'm a fan. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Awesome. I bet she shaves. I don't think there's too much hair on that one for mm-hmm. me. Yeah, okay. Nope. That's fair enough. Uh, anyways. <laughs> um, <laughs> we're going to share this picture, too, so uh, everybody can know what nope, we're doing. You're going to have to go check it out on Vorshay's. Uh, no, lounge. no, no. This is Barry Laminick. Uh, uh, okay. Maybe not. I Never like, mind. I like fucking I gotta, depressed Hannibal Burris in the middle. That's yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, just go and look that up. Anyways, uh, this week's draft, uh, because uh, I got dead last, I get the middle picks because JP got second place and he's not here. Uh, Derek gets the championship picks, and Steve gets to kick us off with the very first pick. And this week's draft is going to be. Uh, things that our wives make us do that we fucking hate. Mm-hmm. So things as a husband she wants you to do and you fucking hate doing it every time. Okay, so I have something to add to this. I tried to cheat. I I, I not on my wife. I tried to cheat. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to cheat. She would kill me. I tried to cheat on this draft. Yeah. And I Googled things that your wife does that you hate. <laughs> and every fucking thing is, I hate my wife. Is it normal and what to do? <laughs> like, like, like five in a row. Here's four reasons husbands feel like well, they hate their wives. Wow. Like it's, it's, it is, wow. That's, that is disturbing as fuck. That's incredible. Anyway, the one thing that I hate that my wife makes me do, I don't know if she makes me do it or not, but I'll be like, babe, I'm bored. And she's like, oh, you could go clean the garage. Oh, fuck. Yep. You clean, know what I mean? Yep. Or, or clean the kitchen, or you could reorganize your closet. Well, don't or you give could, away all your picks, bud. No, 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 no. I'm just saying these are, these are, this is one thing. Yeah, this clean is the just garage. One thing. Well, no. That's, that's your pick. No, no. My pick, I guess, in a nutshell, would be uh, coming up with something for me to clean or organize. Okay. Because that, that's, that's just does one. Does that take away like five? Right? No. Yeah. No, it doesn't. I, I think, no. I think it does. No. Um, my first pick is going to be have dinner with your in-laws. Ew. Yeah. Dinner I with hate the my in-laws. Dinner with the other fans. They're they're scumbags. Um I I, I I'm not going to say that. I like I like oh, my, I like I will. I like one of Not my yours, ones. but mine suck. Yeah. 
but it still sucks. Derek, how about you? What is the – you get two in a row, actually. Okay. Uh, hmm. They're different, but they sound the same. Mm, uh, uh, go okay. to the store. Yeah. I fucking hate going to the store. Yeah. Yeah. And okay. Then, uh, going shopping. Yes. Fuck, dude. Oh, that's the yes. fucking worst. Like, yes. her mom will come in town, and they go to, like, the same seven stores. I'm like, I can only go into uh, – I'll just wait in the car. Go into Marshall's at home, five below. <laughs> old navy yeah. bath and bot you go yep. you go do all that i'll just sit here and look at tiktok on my yes. phone leave yep. the window cracks so, cuz i'm not a dog mm. <laughs> you know? like jesus sometimes i wish i was leave it up and i don't ever have to do this again <laughs> <laughs> I brought this piece of hose. Can you hook it to the tailpipe and <laughs> yeah. put it in the window, please? I'm going to stay warm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's uh yeah, I get it. I oh. Get it. Man, I don't know. I think I can get that one later. What? I, I'm not going to tell it because I don't want you guys to take it. Just tell. No, no I will. Start being a fucking I will. pussy, Scotty. I will. I Scotty's will. like, wear her leggings. No. <laughs> <laughs> Had to do that one time. When she makes me walk around in her high heels. Yeah. She says it turns her on. Yeah. Pe- when she makes me get pegged. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'm okay, gonna- that's my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to do home improvement projects. Oh, I love those. I'm glad you do. I don't. Yeah, you're good at them. Yeah, no <laughs> shit. Yeah. That's your job. She's never in. like, honey, it's we usually do. me. I'm like, hey, I'm going to build a pergola in the yard. She's like, I, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Steve, you know what happens whenever I have a home improvement project? I call you, dickhead. <laughs> my wife's like, my wife's never like, hey, will you hang that picture more crooked? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I want the ball to roll off the shelf faster. Could you That's just, awesome. Could you just rehang that? All right, Steve, you get two in a row, man. Two in a row. Yep. All right. Uh, number one, uh, I do want to clarify. It's not just clean the garage. It's clean or organize anything. When okay. I tell her I'm bored, All right. there's, a, there's a sequence of events there. Babe, I'm bored. Oh, you could clean the garage or you could organize your drawers or you could, yeah. All right. That's one. That's one. So you, get, you, have, you have two more that you have to do. Oh, I thought those were all of them. No. Uh, <laughs> two more. Any time that she makes me go to like her friends' events, you know, Ooh, okay. like yeah. just the fucking just stupid kids' birthday party, or Don't take them all. Like, uh, like if she if she makes me okay. So my second one is going to be when she makes me meet new people that she swears oh. that she's convinced I'm going to be friends with, and I'm like, I hate this fucking human being worse than any <laughs> human being I've ever met in my entire life. I, that's fair. That is fair. Meet new people is a very very that good did one. happen one time, and now that dude is probably one of my favorite people. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, I get, you know, I just get drunk and it's pretty fun. Like, I really like the guy a lot. But nine times out of ten, she is a horrible fucking judge of character and I don't like. Anyway. Okay. Um, I am going to. Uh, I don't know what the pick is. Uh, maybe Derek can help me out with it. But anything to do with like babysitting or being around children. Mm, so what okay. would that be? Hang out with kids. Uh, okay, I'll just do that. Yeah, hang out with kids. I didn't kids. think the state allowed him to be around kids. That's not supposed to. That's why he hates it. He oh, can go to jail. Yeah, he always it. goes to jail. Yeah. Hanging out with kids and is my pick. If you roll doubles three times, you're still in jail. He just put meet new people. That's not it. It's meet new dudes that she thinks I'm going to be friends with. I do that to keep track of the pick list. Don't worry about what I'm doing. I'll make it right whatever and derek you get two in a row clean the bathroom yeah that sucks what was my other one you'll figure it out i'll just pick, make your picks for you i got two more all right derek you get one more or, or sorry you get another one on this trip go see trans-siberian orchestra <laughs> dude i walked out of that halfway through it <laughs> Me one time too. she that was fucking pissed. sucks dude that oh. sucks so bad i'm gonna put go see a stupid concert it wasn't too bad it was just where we were sitting in interest bank arena i'm six foot two and all of the fucking seats at interest bank arena and the cheap seats they're mm-hmm. built for Everyone from Vietnam. <laughs> you're, if you're if you're over five foot three and you're 125 plus pounds, your knees are jammed into the fucking seat in front of you the whole entire time. You can't get out. It's terrifying, dude. That's the only time I've ever had claustrophobia. Yeah, that was the one time my wife was like, talk dirty to me. And I was like, okay, I want to punch you in the back of the head for buying a $200 <laughs> trans-Siberian <laughs> orchestra ticket. <laughs> 
Then I, I was like, it. well, do I want to be buried or cremated? <laughs> <laughs> and we call that a callback, yeah. folks. Yeah, <laughs> uh, I'm going to go with manage our budget. Oh, I love doing that. Uh, I, it, yeah, I but you're a banker, is, so that's, yeah, that's, yeah, like, that's, me that's doing like your outdoor. niche. That was before I was a banker, though. Mm. Yeah, that's one thing that Derek has. Yeah, banking was a hobby for you. Yeah, exactly. He's good at that kind of stuff. Me, I, I, I trust her way more. But whenever she looks at me and she's like, okay, you're going to have to cut down on your subscriptions for your streaming services and stuff like that. Oh, and fuck I'm, that. And I'm like, no, I don't want to. I, I like having Apple Plus for the one show that I watch every, every like six months. I, I want that. I need that. So, yeah, I'm going to say managing our budget. Uh, Steve, you get your last two. Oh, last two in a row? These are, yeah, two in a row, your last two. Okay. Uh, whew, all right, this is uh, very important. I've never won one of these, so I'm just, please help me here, people. Okay. Um, number one is going to be when you go to open a beer or pour a Jameson, and she's like, oh, you're drinking tonight? Okay. And then tries to make you feel like the biggest alcoholic on planet Earth, so you just have to fucking rage drink the whole rest of the night. <laughs> Rather than, you know, like when she's like never, questioning, so, so questioning, she my, drinking, so questioning my drinking habits. You're trying to fucking make me seem like an alcoholic. Fuck you. I'm going to shotgun this yeah. leader of Jameson. Yeah. Do, do we really need to have that tonight? <laughs> I'm married to you, motherfucker. Yes, I really need to have that tonight. That's my fourth bottle of wine today. Yeah. Uh, cut, all right. Cut you so, off from drinking. Yeah. Okay. Uh, there we go. All yeah, right. That's I like, good. I like that one. And then, uh, but she shames you into it. I know. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> roundabout shames you into it. Yeah, I know. And then uh, uh, my last one would be like any time I have like mu- like I won a few thousand bucks this week uh, playing poker, mm-hmm. and if I'm honest with her about that, she's gonna be like, oh. You won forty five hundred because we have like thirty five hundred dollars worth of bills, and <laughs> if you just give me like three thousand of what you want, like she wants ninety percent of every dollar I make, like it's oh. the worst. So the pay gap in my house is fucking super flip flopped, and the men don't make near enough. So give her money. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, give her give her money. She demands. Oh, okay, that'll work. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I don't mind giving her money when it's like fun shit. Like I'll buy her like a two hundred dollar purse or something like that. I like that. Sure. But when I make money and she's like all of a sudden shit that I didn't even know about, now all of a sudden we have to fucking pay and it needs to be done right now. Okay. And it's annoying as fuck. Man, I want to change my last one, but I can't. Um, I am going to. I've got two that I really like, and I don't know which one I want the most, but. Did you do all your five? No, I got one. To get no, he's got one more. He's got one more. And that's why I got I to gotta take advantage of it because it's like... You're ugh. cheating. No, I'm You're looking, looking at, at the computer. I he's looking at list. chat GPT. I'm I know, this list. motherfucker. I'm going off the top of my head. I'm going to go with... Yeah, our hate is real for our wives. <laughs> your mm-hmm. hate is manufactured through AI. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> but uh, but it, it reminds me because uh, luckily, luckily my wife does not make me do this because I... I she knows that I will immediately make the mess bigger. Well, then it shouldn't be something. It's something your wife makes you do. She used to make me do it, and then this uh, happened. Um, when you when, poop? No. Nope, whenever my yeah. dog pukes on the floor. Oh, come on. And I go over and try to clean it up, I also puke on the floor. How so, often do your dogs puke on the floor? Only when they eat something really fucked up. But the pit bull especially has a really sensitive stomach. So uh, ask Jeremy. Jeremy has seen my dog puke projectile vomit onto his floor. Uh, but yeah, puke Time is... Time for the Humane Society. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? That's gross. Clean up puke. Clean oh, up I'm dog not doing puke. that. Yeah, it is I'm not disgusting. doing that. Disgusting. So but yeah, but no. she made me do it one time and Put I newspapers. added... newspapers. I added... Yeah, just cover it with newspapers. Yeah. 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 It's like Big Daddy. Yeah, yeah exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Yeah, cover, cover, or pick up dog puke. The uh-uh. smell will go no. away. Uh, Derek, you get the final pick. What do you got? Man, mine are all pretty tame, but uh, this last one drives me fucking crazy. Mm-hmm. And I, whenever I'm on a road trip, I want to get there. Yeah. And if we're yeah. on like a three hour oh, road trip, yeah. we should be able to just go. I know. But and she it's wants like, to stop, stop at the farmer's market stop on at, the side of the road. No, and she's got she's gotta like pee an hour in. Oh yeah. Like stop yeah. on a road trip. Yeah. I know. Yeah. I'm getting that because that 
God damn it, Derek, that is the best pick that I couldn't think of. Yeah, that's, that's pretty good. Me. That that's pretty fucking, good. I'm like, it drives me. It's a two hour nuts. and 45 minute trip to her mom's. She's like, well, I really have to pee. I'm like, we've been on the road for an hour and 30 minutes. Hold like, it. Yeah. Hold it. It's fucking hold it. Yeah. Absolutely not. I, it drives me absolutely ape shit. Oh, my whole mood will change. Oh, like, I'll same. be joking. You and should then we'll just pull some adult diapers out of the back seat. And I be like, totally here would. you go. I gave I her an empty would. water bottle <laughs> once. <laughs> and I got, you want to know the look I got when I gave her an empty water bottle? <laughs> <laughs> this is the fucking look I got right here. Oh, you I can can't pull it up. Oh, hang on. This I've got awesome. it. awesome. No way. Do you actually have it? Oh, is it? I get this kind of look. Oh, oh, she wants to kill. Oh, God, yeah, that's bad. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, no, and this is where I'm like, thank you for, thank you for yeah, saying see, this. Those are beautiful. Because, mm -hmm. because we, I had to do the show. Derek was still doing baseball, and you weren't here, so I, had, I did the show with Mike and JP. Yeah. And I both of Mike. them are like, oh, no, absolutely not. No, that's not that big of a deal. No, it, it fucking ruins my entire day. If you How the make fuck me would stop, JP know? Uh, it, it's just something that he... Oh, no, and JP did say, like, yeah, absolutely not. If you need to pee, then you're peeing in a bottle because he travels with dudes. That's what he does. Well, yeah, that's but, totally different. He's cheating. Exactly. But with, like, Mike, Mike's like, no, you're riding, you're traveling with a bunch of comedians I'm like, hang your stuff. pussy out the window. It's like, oh, oh true. fuck that. <laughs> and then you go back to the guy with... <laughs> <laughs> just flapping in the wind yeah, the whole time fucking fuck covered no. with That's stray awesome. hairs oh, i love it absolutely not so yeah no the stop to pee on the road a trip snail trail down the side of the car uh, uh, <laughs> being honest being honest i'm voting for Derek just for that pick alone i fucking passed when we were on our way back from her hometown this weekend like it's a two-lane highway for the majority of it they'll have like yeah. a, two, an, yeah. a mile passing yeah, lanes yeah, two yeah. Lane. yeah and i fucking i'll go and i'm behind this car and i'm like i think that's a cop Oh, a, nice. And it's a truck. And I, but I'm looking at the plate. I'm like, I think that's a cop. And I'm like, no, because he's got the fucking like two metal toolboxes. Yeah. Like, there's no fuck. I, I've never seen a yeah, cop the car. Cops that has out that. there work on their own cars. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm like, that's not a cop. And so I'm like, fuck it. I'm. He's going like three miles an hour slower than I am. So I fucking punch up to like 90. Oh shit. And I get right next to him and I go fuck. <laughs> and like <laughs> slam on the brake. <laughs> and I'm like my wife's like what are you going to do? Like where there's a car coming. So I'm like fuck back up to 90. Uh -uh. Pass, pass him and the car in front of him get over and then just speed limit. <laughs> <laughs> what a dick. <laughs> thank, That's awesome. Thank God he was out of his jurisdiction. Oh, that's oh, great. Oh, wow. Yeah. So we're driving for maybe like another 20 minutes. Yeah. And then here comes this car on the highway. It's somebody who's in their jurisdiction. Another cop right on my ass. And I'm like, no oh, shit. Fuck. Like he radioed that in. Yeah. And he's like running my tag. I can tell because then he backed way off. Yeah. No ticket. I'm like, thank the fuck God. Damn. Yeah. But That's it's always awesome. fucking special whenever you're not drinking and you get a cop behind you. Like, oh, for yeah. sure. What are you yeah. going to do, asshole? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. You're not taking me I to jail. I have no warrants, dickweed. I have some white privilege. Let's talk about <laughs> it. Yeah. That's, uh, yeah. Anyways. Like That's All awesome. Right. Well, that is uh, our draft for this week. You can go to facebook.com slash laughing on the sidelines or uh, Twitter, which is at LOT sidelines and vote for the list. Uh, uh, you think I'm it's sorry. The best. It's, it's X. Sorry. X. Mm -hmm. <laughs> X at LOT sidelines. And if you have a stutter, make sure that you're not on public Wi-Fi. Right. Exactly. Uh, <laughs> talking to you, Garrett Allen. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, at least it's not K. Anyways, <laughs> go and vote. <laughs> Definitely make sure you're not on the public. <laughs> yeah, no shit. Go and vote for the list that you like the most, and uh, whoever wins gets absolutely nothing except for championship picks the next week. But now we get to move on to my favorite part of every single episode. This is the laughing on the sidelines shitty situation of the week. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines shitty situation brought to you by Mr. Steve Peters. Yeah. Oh, I do have I do have an announcement okay. at some point. Oh, go ahead and do it now. We all knew, Steve. Yeah, it's all right. I know. You and JP. We support you yeah. 100%. Uh, my wife and I are starting a podcast, and it is called Thorn in Her Side, and it'll be out next week. Is it, oh. about, is it about munting? Or side pocketing. Uh, it's about side pocketing. Side pocketing. Yeah, that's uh, what it is. It's uh, yeah. I told her I promised her that I would I would plug it today. So okay, that's it's fine. It's called Thorn in Her Side. 
Thorn in her side or my side? Thorn in her side. I'm just saying. (laughs) Ah, you're both women. All right, whatever. Thorn in her side. Look for it next week on all the uh, socials. Stuff. Okay. Yeah. That's fine. Okay. All right, uh, now we get to move on uh, to the to, uh, the shitty situation. Uh, this week, the shitty situation is, uh, would you rather, uh, whenever you are having sex with your wife, she fakes it the whole time, mm-hmm. or she speaks only in a Scottish accent? <laughs> yes, I would. <laughs> Both? Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, you're getting laid. All right, here's the deal. She already fakes it every single time. (laughs) If she added a little razzle-dazzle to it (laughs) with the Scottish accent, dude, I would be 12 o'clock at all times, (laughs) guaranteed. And after looking up Scottish lesbian porn today, she'd have to be a little furry. (laughs) <laughs> and she'd have she'd have to have a really annoying accent, and I think that that would do it for me. Well, for sure. well, you only have to do one or the other. So she's either super faking it all the time, or Scottish accent. Once one, do you want? Oh, I'm going with Scottish accent all day. Jesus fucking. Christ. This makes me want to get on fucking Tinder <laughs> in Scotland right now. <laughs> oh my god! Your closest match is only thirty two hundred miles away. I don't know how they do it, but I anyway, mean, I'm, stones. I'm three 32 stones. stones. I'm stones. three stones yeah. over there. <laughs> Uh, I, as much as as I as I don't find that accent attractive, it's gorgeous. I don't want my wife to ever have to fake it. Like I don't ever. I, I don't. got news for you. I got buddy. news for you too, buddy. I don't. We all have text messages about it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do you think he'll ever figure it out? No. <laughs> <laughs> we got Snapchat at during. I mean, this I'm is not boring. saying. Mm-hmm. I'm not saying I'm stretching out the sides, but you know, at least I could stretch out one side. Maybe just kind of like go to that side a little bit. I, I just. I don't know. I you feel gotta so, alternate sides. You I, gotta I, bang yeah, it on the sides like I, a warm glass of water. Yeah, exactly. So I mean, yeah, I, I just I don't want her faking it. I, I like Scottish accent. Let's go. Fuck yeah. I don't know how to do it, but yeah, I'm taking the Scottish accent. I think accent. it would be sexier if it was a Sean Connery accent. Too, <laughs> <the whole time. laughs> yeah, like, do you like that? Yeah. Just talk to me about submarines. Yeah, just uh, <laughs> just just put it in my ass, okay. <laughs> Yeah, I like it. There, I like it. Uh, I don't care as long as she doesn't have to stop to pee. (laughs) (laughs) That's that's, man, that's god damn it. That's serious shit, man. That's that's a UTI right now. You know what I'm saying? Uh, That's true. I'm gonna go with the Scottish accent too. I don't really care either way. I mean, I'm getting late. <laughs> I don't fucking care. Woman, this she is going to be the best two and a half minutes of your life. She could have the Down syndrome accent for all I care. <laughs> oh, I don't fuck. give up. Oh, that'd be pretty hot. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We've already done yeah. it. Yeah, we sure have. Yeah, yeah pretty good. Derek well, does the best one. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, you want to do it? No. Okay. <laughs> Are you sure you don't want to do it so we can come back to this later? <laughs> In, like, 12 years and completely fucking cancel you. It, no, it's already I happened. already did it. Yeah. Oh, you did? Yeah, yeah you did. He did a. He actually did an Irish down down accent, like Corky from Ireland. Yeah. <laughs> no shit. Yeah. How the fuck did I miss that, dude? Uh, it, it's great. Know. It's great. How much Jameson had you been drinking? Because no, I yeah. have that accent if I drink enough John Jameson. Yeah. Yeah. None. None. No oh, yep. shit. So totally sober and everything. Totally sober. Mm-hmm. Uh, totally sober. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that is our episode for this week. I want to say a big thank you to Mr. Steve Peters. Thank you, yeah, guys, thank you for having much. me. I appreciate it. Derek, obviously, is just the sweetest fella around, and you you guys are just, I appreciate everything. Yeah, and then there's this guy was still here. Yeah, that's right. I uh, played for the Wizards, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> sure did. And a baseball the player. The aftershocks. A talented baseball player. Yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely. Uh, oh, it's Bo Jackson. No. <laughs> no. Uh, but anyways, thank you guys so very much. We sincerely do appreciate everything that you guys do. Uh, all of the new listeners, we sincerely appreciate you. Uh, and how you got here, well, uh, we just ask that, it, guys, do us a favor. If you like us, tell your friends. Mm-hmm. Uh, but if you don't like us... Uh, we hope you go to the theater to watch the 14th Fast and the Furious movie and a 1970 Dodge Charger drives right <laughs> into the fucking IMAX, causing you to spill your $32 popcorn, <laughs> but you're grateful that it was just your popcorn and not your life that you lost. And then the fucking car explodes. <laughs> If you don't like us... Uh, without family, you've got nothing. Oh, <laughs> then no. If you don't like us, <laughs> tell, tell your enemies. enemies. And until next time, guys... Keep, keep laughing at us. We will see you later. Take care. I didn't-